Hi, Kim. Welcome in. You're the first one today. Ain't no way. Notes on? Wait, for what? Huh? Notes on. Oh, noties! I thought... I thought you meant, like, the notepad app on your phone? I was like... Dude, what? <laughs> noties. I'm clueless. <laughs> I'm leaving today to see the Mac. W. I'm happy for you guys. Hi, Tooth. Welcome in. Hi, guys. How did cleaning go? My gums are very clean. And it's actually good. Because I called this stupid oral surgery place. That should have gotten my referral. Like, no joke. Three months ago. I called them because I had to wait. Because I had to wait till I was off my blood thinners. And they are like, actually, we never got your referral piece in. And I was like, shock Pikachu face, what the frick? I can't swear in the first five minutes. But I was like, god damn it, so now I have to wait another week, probably, for another process that silly referral makes me so mad. Like, thank god I'm not like dying in pain because my silly little tooth. But imagine. Imagine. Watch me. Also, last night, because I dropped my sister off at work because she's doing night shift again, L. And I was walking through the alley, and there were these three kittens who were maybe, who were, they were like baby babies. Who were maybe like, maybe eight inches long. I didn't get too close to them because they ran away. But they were all like playing in the street running around because it was like 11 p.m. Like nobody's out on the road. And they were so cute, and I tried to take pictures on my phone. But obviously, like, your phone isn't built to take pictures at night. <laughs> but they were so cute! They were plotting. Yeah, they were scheming. They were little tuxedo cats, which are my sister's favorite. No, she likes calico. Honestly, she likes every cat. You know, when I get my million dollar mansion, I'm gonna fill it just with cats, and then we'll have a 24-hour cat can. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to post a Twitch story and I made a silly face. What would you name your first cat? I always thought Gary would be a really cute name. You know, like from Spongebob. But I don't- I don't want to like... Name a cat just to name the cat the name. Like, I would have to see it. Like, you know how people... Pick their baby names before they're born? I think that makes sense, cause like... Basically, every baby looks the same, right? But a cat, it looks different. You can probably tell a little bit of their personality when you see them, because they're, like, not kittens anymore, right? But I think Gary's just cute. Guys, face came out in 30 seconds. I'm not even kidding. The next dog I get, I'm gonna name him Nero. Oh, that's so cute. Wait, what does that mean? Imagine it's a bad word. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Okay, let's check, let's check. Oh, it means... Italian name for boys, Latin origin, meaning strong, vigorous. And black, yeah. <laughs> After a character? Oh, that, okay, that's so much more cute then. 
<laughs> okay. The caller's acting up. Okay. Hello. Good morning, good afternoon. It is 1021 August 14th. It's Wednesday, yeah, it's Wednesday. Hope you guys are doing well. We had Tooth and Kim in the starting soon screen. Welcome in, guys. How we doing? So, okay, somebody got auto modded. <laughs> oh yeah, because you said negative. <laughs> it sucks because like Americans just made the color a slur. You know we really suck, don't we? Should I just ban every single Spanish color from the chat room? <laughs> yeah, what did I do yesterday? I went to the dentist, it was cool. Now this side of my mouth is clean. Now this is only the dirty, the, the dirty corner. And apparently I have to start flossing every day now. I have to add that to my new nightly routine now. Cause I didn't realize this. Because I haven't gone to the dentist in years. And apparently, I have like huge gaps between my teeth and I just didn't know because there was so much plaque. I- it's so bad. <laughs> so, since I have like bigger gaps between like every single one of my fucking teeth, I have to floss every night. Sag. Anyway, that's all I did yesterday. Ain't no way! Why are you rating when I'm talking about my teeth? Hi, Nerditor. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Wait, is this the right message? Welcome in. Now, we're gonna do zero minute follow mode. You guys better behave. And if you guys act up, we're going emote only mode. Hi guys, welcome in. Thank you, Nerditor. I saw you were doing D&D &D earlier. I didn't watch because I was on the phone. Doing big business deals? No, I will not leak. But let me just say, I have a meeting for next week. Nah, it's just to open a business account. <laughs> Cause like, I applied the other day, and they were like, Ashley Peason, you need to have like your, your like, actual address. I was like, oh, awkward. Yeah. Started building the map? W. Yeah, guys. The reason why I went like, uh, wait, talking about, wait, should I show the website when we had to raid? I think that's kind of cringe, right? That's like a little bit cringe. But welcome in, BD. Welcome in, Dr. Pygo. <laughs> Dude, I'm so tired. I just woke up. By that, I mean I woke up at 6. Oh my god, wait! Wait, guys! I'm so happy. Wait, I need to show you guys. I posted on my Twitter earlier. Guys, uh, follow the Twitter, please. I need clout. I got my first ever Super Auto Pets hard mode win. I have a screenshot. It was actually insane. Look at that. Look at that. I did that this morning. I've been playing only hard mode and sad. And look at this. Turn 14, two hearts left. This is the team for hard mode. Dude, I was correct. I was goaded. You know, should I make sat my daily game? And I was really happy. I was like, I was like pogging out of my mind on my computer. I was like literally shaking my feet under my desk. I was like, oh my god, what's happening? Yes, yeah, so that was my morning. Should we jump into it? I think we've chatted enough. I gotta play some games. Boys, the plan is simple. Today? <laughs> okay, before we start the game, you guys know the drill. Today's stream is presented to you by peaceandart.myshopaway.com. Oh my god! Click the link in Jacko Bookmark it. New artwork coming out sooner than you guys think. Sooner than you think, because if I get a business account, then I can get a big business loan, and then we can make some cool ass shit. So yeah, guys, bookmark the website. New Lionel prints available. Wait, I'll grab one. <clears throat> oh my god, look at that, holy shit. And if you're a current Twitch subscriber, you do get a discount, ain't no way. Okay. It's gaming time. Cute! Hi, she-devil. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? 
I'd like to ask for a loan. You know what's crazy? I was comparing like different banking institutions for like different like credit card rates, interest rates and shit. One bank, I didn't choose this one because I didn't want to be tempted by more credit card debt. You could get instantly approved for a business credit card with a maximum of $25,000. Isn't that crazy? It's insane. You know, credit card debt is so bad. If you ever get a credit card, do not sign up for multiple. Just don't. Just don't. That's how they really cook you. Anyway, enough finance talk. I'll tell you guys next week when I get my big business card. That's how they get you? No, for real. Oh, God, oh, God. Thankfully, um, if you, if anybody's younger or if you don't have a bank account yet or if you're considering changing banks, big adult tip. Try to choose a card that has reward points or a card that has lower interest rates or lower um, APR. That way, if you do fall into debt, you'll get less interest every month. Also, try to go for a non-profit credit union. Because remember how there was the whole fiasco, it was like a year or two ago, where like a couple major banks just closed? And most banks are federally insured by the... I almost said FDA. <laughs> I think it's the the Federal Bank Bureau to where if you have $250 in assets with the bank, they'll give you that money when the bank closes. FDIC, thank you. I was gonna say F you. I was like, oh my god, that's not it. <laughs> um, so yeah. So that's why like people who have ample money will have multiple accounts across different banking institutions. Cause like if you got a milli, you should ideally have four different bank accounts. That way you, you get all that 250 back in the bank closes. But, usually, credit unions, since they're non-profit, they're, like, less likely to fuck you over. Or, like, invest with your money. Because banks can do that. <laughs> I can even get a credit card here. The government makes banks have too high an interest rate. I don't know what standard. I think my interest rate is, like... The annual is like 18%, but every month it only charges like 1% interest on the debt that I have. So it's not crazy. It's not crazy. I got lucky. You know, 18-year-old me made a good decision with the card she chose. Okay, let's play the game. Let's play the game. So guys, today the plan is simple. We're continuing the playthrough of In Stars of Time. Yesterday we got through Act 1. Today we're going through part of Act 2. Now don't worry. If you're coming in halfway through, you can watch yesterday's VOD or... Just, like, put little context clues together, okay? The game, it's not super story-heavy. It's more like you enjoy the ride, and you can pick up the story as we go. Because we're, like, four hours in, and I still don't really know the lore yet. Because there wasn't a lot of exposition. And I am doing full voice acting, so guys, get your popcorn, get your sodi pops. Buckle in. And, just a reminder, pin chat, if you're watching a mo desktop here, mobile here. This game is rated teen, because there is mild violence and discussions of mental health, including, um, it's in the pin chat. You can click the link to see the full, the full, wait, I need to turn this off. Hi, Emerald, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. I'm going to verbally read off all the trigger warnings again. So full list of trigger warnings. If these make you uncomfortable, don't watch the stream. We'll see in a few days after I beat the game, okay? Trauma, mental... Hi guys, well, well, you know, I said death and then my camera died. D oh, don't worry, I'm fixing it, I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it, yeah. You know, we haven't had tech issues in a long ass time. And by that, I mean a week. I'm back. I'm back. Okay, I'm reading off the trigger warnings now. So if any of these make you uncomfortable, don't watch today's stream. We'll see you in a few days. Trauma, mental illness. Death, violence, self-harm, and suicide, unreality, and children in peril or dying. But, you know, it's a cute little game, so it's not like... It's like a it's like a Mori type beat. It's not... Hopefully it's not as on the nose as a Mori is. But, you know, we'll see. Anyway, are we ready? Are we ready? I was not capturing the game anymore.
Okay, now we got the music back. I was gonna say the camera went black a lot last week, yeah. It's just because, like, I stream from a laptop, so there's only so much she can handle, you know? Okay. I'm locked in. And yes, the rhinestones are falling off, because I accidentally put this shirt in the dryer one time. <laughs> And we're in. No, what did Click do game? Wait, let me go back. No! Wait, why did Click do game? Wait, imagine it deletes everything. Come on, just let me play. Please don't tell me. Okay, thank God. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy shit. Imagine it just wipes everything. Because you know, sometimes when you start a new game, it just deletes your previous saves. Oh my God. My heart was in my chest. Fuck. Hi, Vic. Oh my God, is that a tier two in the chat? Everybody say hi to them. Okay, we're going to see if the game audio is synced, and then we'll play the game. Oh my God. Holy shit. Imagine it just deleted everything. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Stop yapping. Shut up, Ethan. You know what? I've had enough of you. You're banned for one second. Maybe a tier three soon? Wait, you know what I do for my tier three subs? I say thank you. <clears throat> Wait, what should we do for the tier three? Should we, like, give them VIP for five seconds? Okay, I'm testing if the audio is synced. It's synced, we're good. We Gucci. Okay, continuing in Stars in Time. Last time we saved, and we're gonna go into floor two because we got all the keys. If you ever become famous and you need mods, us OGs want it. I don't think you guys want mod. You know, some of you guys say some really bad things. And I don't know if you guys can handle it. Also, Nerdeter said bye. Thank you for the raid, Nerdeter. Thank you. Have a good rest of your day, man. And don't say if you become famous, I will. Guys, nominate Peason for Hidden Gem 2024. Okay, we're in. So we're gonna go straight to the door. And surely I won't die. When you become famous, thank you. You got it. You know, we all gotta be a little bit Delulu. There was a save point right here. Oh, a new dialogue. Stardust, listen, listen, I forgot to explain something. As you know, you can save your progress here, but there's two things you might not know about recording your progress. Number one, those stars are all linked to a spot you can loop back to. So right now, you can loop back to Dormont and to the first floor of the house. Number two, Remember how you'll keep your experience and craft skills no matter what, but your party's progress is reset every time you loop. So, to make it easier for you, every time you save your progress, your party's craft skills and experience will be saved for the specific spot as well. Ooh, that's huge! So, your fighter is level 46 now, and when you record your progress in a second, you will be level 46 again if you loop back here. But don't worry. If, for example, you haven't recorded as level 52 before, but then he only gets to level 46 next time you save your progress here, his level will still be recorded as 52. No going back. He will stay strong. It's the same for the number of tonics 
and other battle items you're holding, too. All right, that's it for me, Stardust. Goodbye. Okay, so it's kind of like an autosave then, but not really. That's fine. Huh. So if you save your progress here, your friend's experience and skills will be recorded here as well. So, if you loop back here, you won't have to keep fighting so they can be stronger. Okay. You reach towards the light. Oh yeah, I don't think there was a save point here before. Well, that's fine, that's Ike. Should I just delete the save for funsies, tap one? Okay, we got both keys, we're at the door. Oh my god, he's following me! <laughs> I forgot they could go up the stairs. Key time. You insert the key into the keyhole and open the door. We're in. Surely there won't be another boulder, right? Monka. A sadness! It seems to be guarding the rest of the house from us. It feels strong. Stronger than those we've seen so far. Get ready, everyone. Uh-oh. Big ball head. <laughs> Big ball head. <laughs> Wait, something's happening. It probably changed types throughout, that's my theory. Something appeared for a second on the big ball head. That was... a rock sign? Does it mean something? We can probably assume that it's current craft type. If you need help, Sifrin, let me know and I'll analyze this enemy. Uh-oh. Okay, it was too bad. Oh wait, it's a rock type. Also, thank you for the follow, plus one. Thank you. Can we get some yo's? I appreciate that. Okay, if it's rock type, that means we're weak, so we should turn. Move our turn to Odile. Man, he's got so much health. Uh oh. Oh yeah. Mira has a paper type move. I think I should focus on doing the status type moves since the enemy has a lot of health. Cause we might have to tank. Boosting defense? Dang, Resistance is still did that much? The Sadness changed its craft type. Of course Bonnie missed, classic. Wait, I missed the type! I wasn't looking at the screen! Did somebody see? Shoot. Okay, so if it changed, it's probably not rock again. That would be very silly. Immune, what? So if it was immune to scissor, does that mean it's scissor then? Boost all friends attack. I'll just wait till it's Odell's turn and then we'll check. Examine. It showed a scissor symbol. So it's a scissor type now. I'm not sure paper and scissor attacks will work. Rock attacks it is. This might be a good opportunity to build up jack points every- Er, <laughs> jack <laughs> This might be a good opportunity to build up jack points. Jackpot, jackpot points. Jackpot points. This might be a good opportunity to build up jack point pots. Point, fuck! <laughs> Dude. I do not want to do that tongue twister stream. It's gonna be horrible. This might be a good opportunity to build up jackpot points, everyone. Let's use the same craft type five times in a row. Okay, well, I can't do that. Only two of them have rock types. Thank you. 
Smash. This feels like drunk Pokemon. <laughs> no, I said this earlier. Like, I love how there's only three types. It's just rock, paper, scissors. And I do feel like if people who are drunk played rock, paper, scissors, they would pretend it's Pokemon. But welcome in, Lulu. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. Welcome in. Also, thank you for redeeming, Vic. We'll do that at the end of stream. Turn it up, giving my turn to Isabeau. Okay, we got three rocks now. Mirabel can't give away her turn. She also has no status type move. Just got the lettuce clip. Oh no, what did you do? <laughs> Honestly, drunk rock, paper, scissors seems like it would be wild. You know, I feel like it would end in like a gunfight and not the not the good type of gun, you know? Hmm. I guess the best thing I can do is just attack here. Come on, Bonnie. Oh, she hit! Yo! I'm just gonna do the make us quicker. Oh, I can't do the rock type move. Make it really slow. I'm one rock type move away from the combo, but we're not gonna hit it. It ain't happening. Smash! It might be worth to heal here, that way I don't get rid of the rock combos I'm building. Welcome in, Lulu. Thanks for sharing. Let's see. Turn it up! Okay, finally. Watch this wombo combo! Oh, not incoming. No, come on! Just... I only have one rock type guy, so I can't build up enough hits to get the combo. It's just so annoying. It could be worthwhile to just heal one character here. But everybody's health is kind of low. I might as well do the heal 40% to all. Super Sour Tonic. Wait, guard? Oh wait, guarding skips your turn. Oh, I didn't know I could guard. I'm learning so much. Now, wombo combo incoming. Oh man. The sadness changes craft type. It's now a scissor type. No, 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 it said rock, right? Fuck, I forgot. God damn it. No, it went like this. That means paper. I need to lock in. Okay, so the icons bottom right, like, shuffle up. They don't just replace, like, random ones. It's shuffle- like, your- your five most recent attacks have to be at the same time. Because even if it's the type advantage, it doesn't do, like, significant damage. So 
the garden last till their next turn? Hmm. I'm locked in. Also, guys, we are another 30 minutes, or 30 minutes of the stream. So if you're new here, click follow, you get cooling modes, and you get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty cool? If you're already following, make sure notifications are turned on. Yes, I did play Unpacking. I did it in one stream, like... Oh, man, it was back when I was at my parents' house, almost two years ago. There is a VOD of it on my VOD channel. It will become a YouTube edit at some point. But the full VOD is up for that game. Since it's paper, I'm weak. I can't honestly see if Odile can do the make your enemies slower again. <gasps> Okay, Wombo Combo is the same type that matches the five attacks you had lined up. Okay, Slow has a one turn timeout. I'm gonna examine, because I forgot what type it is. It's not advertising, it's new craft type anymore. Sounds like we'll have to try stuff out and see what hits. Rock type. Oh my god, I was doing scissors earlier. I'm so DOM. Oh my god. Wait, what? Immune to paper? What? But it's allegedly rock type. What? Boosting my attack because there's nothing I can do besides scissors. Don't worry, I got this in the bank. Let's slow it down some more. So I guess for this type, I only attack with... With... Oh. The sign has changed as craft type. But you can't see anything! Looks like you have to figure out what it's type based on how it attacks. Now surely, it would not turn into paper again, right? Surely. Rock damage did normal. Oh wait, he resisted, so that means it has a rock type move. Turn it up. Watch this. Wait, what? So it does rocket types, but it's immune to paper. Immune to scissors, immune to paper, so the only attack I can do is wrong. It's like those Pokemon that have two types. Or like opposite types where it, it has like a weakness, but it's actually a strength. We're gonna guard. So 
So it deals, it dealt rock. Oh no, it dealt scissor damage. I'm so dumb. Why would rock be immune to rock? It's immune to scissor because scissor is weak. Okay, I need to learn my types. Boosting allies attack. Turn it up, let's give it to Isabeau, because it can only take rock damage. Heal somebody? The sadness changed its craft type, but you can't see anything. scissors so that means it's a rock type yes sir but it dealt rock damage I'm so confused I don't like when I can't see the time <laughs> Immune to rock. So it's paper. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Nothing is working besides paper. Damn, that's a lot. Odile for the win. One more hit, probably. on the screen. Oh. Don't worry, we got this. You breathe in and out. 6,000 XP received, god damn. Isabel is now level 47. Odal is now level 47. We did it! Victory! Alright, let's keep moving. We're gonna go save first, because everybody died. Something is keeping you from going back. There's no turning back now. You have to press onwards. Another long, ominous, empty hallway. Hmm. This room feels different than the others, doesn't it? It's missing the threatening pressure the rest of the house has. Shall we take a little break, then? No! We should keep going and... What was that? I think I'm hungry. 
I was literally gonna make that joke. My time! My time! My time to be the leader! Why? Because it's snack time, baby! Snacks are important to keep hunger away and keep morale up! I learned that because I'm a growing kid! That sure is true. But we... But do we have time to? Mira. Let's take a break, alright? Even people blessed by the change god like you sometimes need to take a break. Alright. You guys stay here. I'll go get some snacks ready. Okay, snack leader. Oh, I remembered something. Is bone? Heads or tails? Huh? Um... Tails. Odell takes a coin from her pocket and flips it in the air. Flip, 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 flip. It fell on tails. Huh. I lost. Ha, <laughs> yay! What do I win? The sweet taste of victory and nothing else. I don't even get congrats. Wow, madame. I thought we were friends. We're not friends. We're associates. Oh! Not even companions. Colleagues. Allies at best. Not even soulmates. Can't believe you've gone down to being an acquaintance now. No! What was the coin flip about, madame? Uh, well, I asked the favorite you to make me win my next coin flip. Huh? Such a silly favor. Purely for scientific reasons. I was wondering whether this favor tree business had any truth to it. As we can see, it doesn't. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Well. But Madame Odile, or Odile, <laughs> I need to commit to Odile. <laughs> but Madame. I'm locked in. But Madame Odile didn't put any thought or hope into her favor, so why would it come true, right? If you want something to come true, it definitely will. You think so? Absolutely. That's right. Bonnie probably wished for their sister to be okay, didn't they? Okay, who wants snacks? I have snacks. Today, I have many snacks at your disposal. I have... Some plantain chips. Oh... Did you use the last of those not bananas to make them? Yes. Yes, I did. Crunchy. Delicious and full of potassium. That's plantain chips. You all clap. Second snack is... Some boring but delicious cookies. Cookies. Great sales pitch, Bonbon. Bon. Boring but delicious. Cookies, the taste of home. What kind of home is boring but delicious? Zah, you're weird. And for our third and final snack, we are proud to present... Uh... Some, uh... Jelly donut. Oginiti. Ain't no way. Thank you for the 100 bits, Vic. You didn't even use TTS. You should have said something funny. But thank you, Vic. Can we get some Wicantics? Thank you. And you're our first and top cheer of the month. Thank you, Vic. Can we get some Lucantons? Thank you. Also, hi, Ryan. Can we get some Yo's? Hello. You know what, Vic? I'll read out your... Something <laughs> funny. You know, I didn't say that to bait you. Thank you, Vacantin, for another 100 bits. Thank you for using TTS. <laughs> you know what? Your next chat message, I'll read out loud, and it'll be free TTS for you, okay? Just don't make it anything bad. You know, we got clippers in the chat. But thank you, Vic, for another 100 bits. That jelly donut looks so much yummy. I made that joke already. Okay, we'll do peace and bot TTS. I'm so- wait. I'm under so much pressure now. There we go. There's your free TTS. Some, uh, Oginiri. 
Onigiri. 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 Onion giri. You messed up that one on purpose. <laughs> yes. I have some onigiris for everybody. It's so weird saying it in like a western accent. <laughs> onigiri. Anybody who doesn't get the jelly donut reference? I had almost the entire first season on VHS. And then my parents donated it. What are those? Ka Kabuan? Kabuan? VHS? Yeah, I'm old. You know, there's only like two chatters who are older than me. That's a word I haven't heard in a while. You know what's another word you haven't heard in a while? I wish- you know how they have like a soundbar where it makes that- <laughs> sound? I want that, but I know I would abuse it too much. One of those kaboo and rice balls, right? Yeah. Rice. I. Love. Rice. You were never the kid on this planet, Boniface. Hmm. Now choose. Choose which one you want. Don't worry, I have enough for everyone. You'd like... Ooh. Chips, basic. And the plantain chips are fried, so they're not healthy at all, even though they're made from bananas. Cookie? I only want a crumble cookie. So, I'll take the onigiri. Some onigiri for me. There. You go. Bonnie hands you one onigiri. Odell taught Bonnie how to make onigiri a few weeks back. You wonder what Bonnie put inside this time. Please be jelly. Apple slices? Oh, that's gotta be gnarly. Apple with rice? Did you put apple slices in the onigiris? Yeah. Dal put a plum in hers before, so I figured I'd try putting another fruit in there. Is it good? No, a plum is soft. An apple would be hard. Mm-mm. I remember when DVDs became a thing, I thought it was magic not having to rewind. I loved writing VHS types, because I would always over-rewind them. I loved seeing them explode. Wait, maybe I was a bad kid. <laughs> but I would only do that with movies I didn't like. <laughs> it's okay, Dial. I know you're old and don't like change, so I have one with a plum if you want. Thank you. So, do you all like it? Did I do a good job at Snack Leader? You absolutely nod. Or absently. Yeah, this is good. Mm-hmm. The music stopped. Oh. Ah. Uh, um. Uh-oh. You say very loudly. Thank you, snack leader, for this delicious meal. Oh, this is so good. Thank you, Bonnie. Mmm, so good, Bon Bon. I feel refreshed, invigorated, alive. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Good food. Yummy, yum, yum. Yes! You got a memory of snacks. You'll always remember this. When equipped, memory of snacks makes the kid more likely to heal during battle. <gasps> That's huge. After eating snacks, everyone's health has been restored. Oh, thank goodness. Memory of Bonnie. Bonnie, young and angry. This is how you remember them. Bonnie's more likely to attack. Bonnie doesn't do good attacks, so it's better for them to heal. Memory of snacks. You should do different accents. I don't want to, like, get in trouble. You know what I mean? You know how people got, like, upset about people using, like, like, black sense or, like, slang, like, online slang? 
and people are saying it's appropriating culture. Like, I understand that point. I, I don't, I do not want to do accents. <laughs> Only white accents? I'm not white, look at me, I'm not white. <laughs> and Twitch is like very anti-white racism. Pizza cancel, peace and cancel 2025? Wait, what am I gonna do next year? No, don't clip! No! <laughs> Guys, would you stay with me if I got canceled? Girl, I don't have earphones on. Why are you doing this at work? I mean, my stream isn't like too crazy, right? <laughs> Depends. Yeah, like if I do a crime, don't support me, but like, I don't want that phrase in my chat. <laughs> a new block term? There we go. Do you have plans to make a cultural stream? No. Like Japanese stuff? I was thinking about that. But like, since I'm mixed race, it's hard. My sister also feels the same. We're both like, the same. Like, we very much like, connect more with our Japanese side, but we don't like, connect with our like, South American side. And it feels like weird, like, only really identifying with one and promoting one, so. I've spent too much money on your channel, I can't back down now. Wait till I do, like, crimes. <laughs> nah, I would never. What's- okay, the only crime I have done is, like, jaywalking. But jaywalking is fun, it gives me adrenaline. Don't do it. I don't want you guys to get hit by vehicles. Or, like, the motorized scooters they have now on the road. But the worst I've done is jaywalking. Aren't you pro-tax evasion? No. I've literally filed taxes when I've made... Wait, can I leak? One year on Twitch? I've only been monetized two years. One year on Twitch, I only made $1,100. And I still had to file my taxes. Wait till I do crimes? No, I did wait, did I say that? Wait, I would I would never do crimes. I would never. Do you listen to Chapo Roan? Are you straight? Uh I don't listen H O T T O G O. You can take me hot to go. Okay, I'm equipping memory for snacks. I haven't listened to her. Cause like I don't like pop as much anymore. Or like club hits. Uh oh, you can't say that, Vic. You can't say that. You can't say that. Mods, get her, get her. <laughs> I'm gay, it's okay. I guess you're a self hating gay then. Do you also eat a Chick fil A? I want Chick fil A so bad. It's been like two years since I've had it because it's so expensive. It's so expensive. You know, I want to get rich enough to where I can do those streams where I eat the entire menu. Because those streams cost like at least a couple hundred dollars. Okay, somebody got auto modded. <laughs> Emerald, your message got modded? Wait, because you said we hate chick and Twitch thought it was sexism. <laughs> Wait, is that like a gay hate crime, Twitch dev? <laughs> you know, auto mod will like flag a lot of things, but I think that's a bit out of hand. Okay, we're playing the game. Wait, can I talk to people? Oh my god, I can! I hope everyone's alright. Uh oh. How do I ban Ethan? You're getting a warning? Where is it? No vulgar, don't tell me to twerk. I only do that for my tier five subs. I'm kidding, I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> there is no such thing as a tier five. <laughs> okay, let's play the game. I need to log in, I need to log in. 
You know, you guys are so used to me not playing a story game and me talking to you guys, you can't, like, keep it together. My intrusive thoughts actually took over. I thought you were gay. I'm not a guy. I'm sorry. No, you know what I'll say about Patreon? Now, this might be, like, hypocritical, because, you know, I, I shill Twitch subs. But I think if you have to rely on Patreon for your content... I don't like that as much. Like, I think you should find a way to fund yourself. I don't know. But then it's different because, like, I show Twitch subs, but you're getting something in return. Oh, well, you get something in return when there's Patreon. I don't know. If I do a Patreon, it would take a lot for me to start a Patreon. A bag is a bag. Wait, are you still gonna believe that when I take, like, a Mr. B sponsorship? Yeah, I think a Ko-Fi is fine. Because it's Ko-Fi subscription? I know Ko-Fi is tips, right? Yes. Wait, guys. Look at this. Look at this right here. I got my Feastables. <laughs> He's just pre-canceled. Yeah, wait till the next video comes out. I'm pro-selling out. Guys! Talking about selling out. No, I'm kidding. Okay, I think a Patreon is better than, like, an overlay sponsor. I, I fucking hate. I hate when people have, like, an overlay carousel image sponsor on their stream. It's, like, it's covering your game. It's stupid. I'm not gonna buy it. Take it off the screen. But, like, if you guys see a Gamer Subs collab on my screen, you guys know I'm suffering. Suffering? Suffering. Okay, back to the game. Ooh, the people in dorm world are people in the house. Let's say people... People in the house, because she knows them. The people in the house? Yes. Well, they're most likely all frozen in time, aren't they? We haven't seen anyone yet, but maybe... Maybe someone survived. Maybe they had asked me to manage to... Um, tell me a joke, Sifrin, please. To get my mind off things. Oh, um, okay, what's a good joke? Um, um, what goes up but never comes down? Oh, this is really good. Give me a joke. Your mom. I had a meeting with the plum today. A plum? Like the fruit? Yes, that meeting was... Oh, let me guess. Was it a very fruitful meeting? Oh my god, I hate when people finish the joke for you. It's so annoying, it's so cringe, this is why you have no friends. Oh no! What was that it? Sorry. For stealing your joke? That's the worst thing that could ever happen to you. So real. Who are you? If you're not the funny jokes pun person. She stole my identity. IRS getter. Also, guys, we're an hour into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. If you want to avoid the ad, I gotta do subscribe for. $5.99, just $6. Skip your coffee and get out of reviewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and subscribe for free. Ain't no way. Also, I was reading chat during the dialogue that I was reading. And yes. Wait, what the hell? Add free viewing win. <laughs> thank you for another 100 bits, Vic. Did you get paid? What is going on? But thank you, Vic. Can we get some Wicantons? Thank you. Another 100. W. Thank you, Vic. I did get paid. Yes, sir. <laughs> Why can't? <laughs> what can't? And... You know, my sister, she pulled me aside yesterday and she was like, Peason, you need to stop saying crazy. Like saying like, oh, blank is crazy. Because you're being ableist. And I was like, I know you're right, but I can't. I can't stop. <laughs> I'm trying to phase it out, though. Anyway, I was reading you guys, and you were like, an art sponsorship would be cool for art supplies. The only problem with taking a sponsor when it's, like, a field that you're in, like, when you see, like, an athlete take an energy drink sponsor, like, it gives the audience, like, an underlying feeling that, oh, this person is an athlete, 
That way the athlete should know what the best product is for them. So it, it kind of reinforces that the product is better. Like imagine if you saw like somebody shilling, um, like an athlete shilling Gatorade versus like a, like a, a YouTuber shilling Gatorade. You're probably going to believe the athlete's opinion more because the athlete like actually probably is going to use the Gatorade for its intended purpose, like rehydration. So connecting it back to me, like if I took like a, a sponsor for like an art supply, like it would make sense objectively. But I wouldn't want to like shill a product that I don't like. Like if I got the only like art sponsor I would take, and if you're listening, where's my pens? The only like marker I genuinely love. Oh my god, I kicked my camera. This is not a sponsor. I love the Microns. They have the gel pens, they have brush pens. Micron is premium. And it's decent price point. I like it. But like, imagine... Because right now I'm saying I love Micron. I've always said I love Micron. But imagine I take another fine line or sponsor. It would be sus, right? So I don't know. It would take a lot. I did used to follow Sakura Micron on Instagram. And you know what? They never DM'd me back. Maybe because I didn't DM first, but... <laughs> No, I've seen people be sponsored by Crayola. I've seen it. And it's like, it'll be like a TikTok of, oh my God, look at this art project I drew with Crayola crayons. Oh my God, you can do this too. Like everybody's gonna buy Crayola anyway. Like why do they need to have like influencer shill Crayola? You'd have to really trust the brand. Yeah, that's why like anybody who takes a HelloFresh or oh, what's the other company that's owned by HelloFresh? fuck they're anti-unions and we hate that okay i'm locked in chef's plate no it's like black and white imagery i don't know streamers are like sponsored by it all the time is washington pro union uh capitalism hates unions in general but it's not that the state hates unions it's more the company Oh yeah, better help is bad. I, I, any virtual mental health company, I think is bad. Wait, I'm out of- No! <laughs> it was a little bit left. I gotta grab my other cup. If anybody is considering counseling or therapy, definitely go to a clinic local to you. Don't do virtual. You're paying a premium for a lesser quality product, typically. Yeah, if I took a sponsor, it would be like a one-off stream. Be like, oh, play the game for two hours and then don't talk about us ever again. I don't want an overlay sponsor. I don't want a long-term contract. But guys, if you want me to get a sponsor, we need to get a million subs right now. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm locked in. Whew. Hey, Sif. Let me guess, you're still hungry. I can see it in your face. Want half this cookie? Isabel waves his last cookie at you. Yes. Nah, it's fine. Okay, let's try that again. And this time you say yes, please, Mr. Amazing, Wonderful, Funny, Buff, Isabel. I ask again, would you like half of this cookie? Uh, yes, please, Mr. Amazing, Wonderful, Funny, Buff, Isabel. <laughs> of course, thank you. Here you go. Isabel gave you half of his cookie. Chomp. Oh my god, it's an indirect kiss! Oh my god! Wait, did you see him, like, bright-eyed right there? <laughs> if the guy is a self-insert? No, I am not pretending in my head that I'm Bo right now. I'm not. Uh, thank you. <laughs> no problem. An indirect kiss! A million sub speedrun challenge, guys! Stream ends when I get a million subs. Can we do it? Hmm. I hope it didn't make Bonnie upset earlier. You both look Bonnie's way. Bonnie is stuffing their cheeks happily. Never mind. Damn. I like Odile. 
because they never lie. And they're also, there's times when they are encouraging. They probably just don't want to lie to the kid. Zaz's stupid. We can't be friends. That'd be like being friends with your mom or your sister. Wait, you're not friends with your sister? I can get not being friends with your mom. You know, me and my mom are not on the best terms right now. But not friends with your sister? What? So then. Which one is what? Which one is Odile? Hmm. Actually, Dal's more like grandma, isn't she? And you definitely can't be friends with your grandma. Is that how it works? Sounds stupid. Which one is Mira? Belle's like a cool sister. The one who'd give me sweets when I ask. Unlike my actual older sister who sucks. And who's dead, I mean... Is that how it works? Which one is Issa? Hmm. Zaz like a little brother. Which one am I? I'm the weird cousin. You're... I don't know. <laughs> We're not part of the family. Damn. Ronnie really cooking us. <laughs> Does your sister think of you as a friend? I hope so. We moved out of our parents' house almost two years ago now. And she and I, like, will talk about how... We didn't used to, like, hate each other, but we didn't get along. But now that we're in our own space, you know, we get to, like, choose when we to spend time together. Like, it's a, we're a lot more chill. And we actually, like, get along now. And it's so cute because my sister, she's very quiet. She's very reserved. She is, like, on the spectrum. So, like, she doesn't necessarily, like, vocalize or get too, like, energetic or enthused about things. And in the past, like, six months, she's, like, opened up so much and it's really cute. She even said she might start streaming, which is honestly huge. But I'm very much a believer on if you're in a good environment, then you can truly thrive. My glasses keep falling down. Guys, can we get a million subs so I can get new glasses? Yeah, I've talked to everyone. We continue on. Are you ready? Uh, not really. Not yet. Okay, we can stay here a bit longer. Nah, I'm ready. I, I'm kidding. I'm ready. Alright, let's go. Floor 2. Hmm, should I touch the water? Nah. Guys, I am not going to defend Mr. Beast. I'm not. The only time I would watch Mr. Beast is when Ludwig would watch Mr. Beast. I think it's because when I go to YouTube, I don't look for content that's too high produced. Mr. Beast, it feels like TV now. Surely they won't see me. I almost dodged it. Damn it. Oh my god, I thought that was his butt. <laughs> it's eyes crying. <laughs> It's his eyes. It's crying. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Insane? What? I'm saying what I see. Oh my god. Okay, it's weak to scissor, so it's paper type. Botched implants? <laughs> Oh, 
Maybe this one enemy is why this game is rated teen. Yup. You breathe in and out. 300 XP received. I can't click on the flyers. Saved. Oh! Back to school. A desk. Oh, on it is an open issue of the Cursing of Chateau Castle, issue number 32. An empty desk. What is with this castle chateau? A desk with an open notebook. It is very lovely handwriting. Oh, I recognize this handwriting. This is the seat of a very stylish, very scary lady with amazing fashion sense. She often wore this very cool dress, and she always has her dark hair in a bun. Wait, this is the girl we saw in the village. She is describing. We often have the same classes, but she probably doesn't know I exist. I'm a little sad about it. I always wanted to ask her her fashion tips. <clears throat> Some vials. Let's see. One super sweet tonic. A desk. On it is a notebook titled, Mark Super Awesome Great Amazing Super Duper Cool Notebook. Do not touch. Out of respect, you leave the super duper cool notebook alone. Some school books. Mathem mathematics, geography, crafting, art, sewing, cooking. Why are they teaching arts and crafts in school? I wanted to go towards football. Some frozen flowers. They smell like... flowers. Some school books. Various school supplies. A list of students' names for a month-long class. Some of the students have more than their first and last name listed. Huh. This student has one, two, five names. This is a Vagardian practice, as I recall. Having more than one name. Yeah. A lot of Vagardians have more than one name. Usually it's one masculine name, one feminine name, and a free one for good measure. But some parents just go wild and give more than that. I had a co-worker with ten names once. The many names represent our capacity for change, our power to evolve, to become someone new at a moment's notice. And if you decide to change genders or become someone different than who you were before, you already have a name ready to pick out. This is... lovely, actually. How Vagard's goal of change goes even as deep as names. I have another name, too, so I feel a little closer to Vagard at the moment. You do? I wanna know, I wanna know! I'm curious as well, if that's okay. Hmm. If you tell me yours, I might. Unless that's frowned upon. It's not really frowned upon, but some people might keep it secret for personal reasons. That's why not everyone on the student list wrote down every name, see? I wouldn't mind telling you, though, Madame Otto. I'd tell you, but I forgot mine. My sister is the one who remembers. Hmm. I'm gonna pass. I want to keep them secret. Because if I do change again, I don't want you to already know how to call me. I want it to be a surprise. Oh, of course. Then let us keep our names a secret for a little while longer. Vagard is so weird. A pile of students' papers. The bookcase is filled with some books about many, many random things. There's a book about something called Bonding Earrings. You wonder what that's about, but not enough to pick up the book. A statue of the Change God. It's been destroyed. I wonder if, like, we're part- are we, like, a cult city? A note stuck to the wall. It says, No snack eating in this room. Out of the corner of your eye, you see Bonnie chomp on an apple. Caught. A board with some doodles in the corner. It's a nice classroom, isn't it? Wonder what classes were taught here. Um, I have bad memories of this classroom. Why? Did you have a bad class in this room, Belle? Uh, no, not... Um... It's... 
I gave a class here not too long before the king attacked. You're a teacher? <gasps> you never said. Uh, no. It was just one lecture. I, um... The head housemaiden. She said it would be good for me to give a lecture. A lecture on? I'm... I'm well known in Dormont's house for being the housemaiden who has taken... The most classes? Taken the most classes? Like, as a student? How many is that? <laughs> Since I came to live here, I think I registered for... A little more than 150 classes? <laughs> Whoa. I think she's a nerd. Huh? Mirabelle? You went to school that long? So, she wanted me to do a lecture. On when taking... So she wanted me to do a lecture on what taking all those classes taught me. And? And? Should we drop it? Uh, yes, please. She's got trauma. You know what? I'll say it. I like a broken girly. Dip in a don't dodge. College trauma is real. That's like the only good thing I liked about doing online college. I didn't have to deal with nobody. I just focused on my studies, did my little community board post, and nobody bothered me. It was so nice. But I do think I missed out on the community aspect for sure. Sparkly heal just so I don't have to use an item later. I did online college for my entire for my entire college career. My degree was supposed to be was supposed to be four years, but it took me six years because I took like breaks throughout. And also like I was working full and part time when I was doing my degree for the majority of it, so like I took fewer classes. But you know, I still got my bachelor's. W. I learned absolutely nothing from my online classes because the professor literally gave us random grades. What the fuck? Dude, what are they doing in your country? <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? No, I bet like at the end of the year he puts everybody's name on a spinner and then like just pulled letters out of a hat. Guard with Sifrin. <clears throat> Easy. You breathe in and out. 300 XP received. The double whammy. Okay, this guy's gotta be a rock. They're not making the hand symbols as obvious as enemies. doing is giving turns first to Mirabelle that way Mirabelle can heal that way if I do cycle through three turns with her she'll be able to heal again circle. Bonnie actually healed that time. I 
I'll make us go faster because our speed was decreased. Scissors could take it out. 218, but it's still resisted? Damn. You breathe in and out. 300 XP received. So this is Pokemon, but not? No, it literally is. But only with three types, and it's kind of nice. Also, you're stealing my joke. I said that yesterday. Uh-oh. A sadness. Another weird one. Like the one that gave us the crest? Wait. Boniface? What do you mean by weird? No, no time, madame. Let's get ready. It's just funnier when I say it. Okay. Click go live right now. See what happens. <laughs> Nostalgia attacks. Oh, it's the same enemy from earlier. Increase our speed because we don't know what type this guy is yet. Okay, it's neutral against scissors. Boosting everybody's defense, because it's near the beginning of the fight. Lowering enemy speed, because this guy sucked last time. It was neutral against scissors. I'm gonna get my turn to bow, and let's see how rock does. It was a crit, but it wasn't necessarily effective. Dang, Bonnie got stronger. They used to only do 98, now that one did 109. I haven't tried paper yet. It resists paper. So that means it's a scissor type. Oh, I gave my turn up away already. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> if it doesn't show the type on screen, I literally forget <laughs> immediately. <laughs> it's a scissor type. Breathe in and out. 1,100 XP received. Sifrin is now level 47. You got a star crest. You put the star crest in your pocket. Yay, another crest. We should be careful about where we use this one. Okay. That sure is a pillar. It's a barrel. It's full of various nuts. This barrel's full of water. There's a note on the wall. It says, Stop eating nuts directly from the barrels. <laughs> a broken pillar. It's a barrel. It's full of water. It's a barrel. It's full of nothing. Just like my heart. The door is locked. The key is shaped like a hand. In the paper position. What if I just go like this? I think it's a barrel. Oh my god, I didn't- I had no clue. <laughs> Ain't no way it's a barrel! No, but sometimes there's like different dialogue. 
You know, I'm doing 100% accomplishment run, right? No, I'm not. Okay, it's a scissor type. You breathe in and out. 300 XP received. Caught. Let's see, the keys in floor one were to the right. Keys on this floor to the left. Floor three is probably to the right again. My best guess. Odile's my favorite. They're kind of a sleeper character, but they're the most- they're like literally the best. Odile is my Gyarados. Oh. <laughs> Holy! The way the illustrators have done expressions is so good. You can tell all the subtle emotions. You breathe in and out. 300 XP received. Isabeau is now level 48. Odal is now level 48. Let's go! Lucky. Oh no. You can feel something in the distance. There's something over there. Someone? Please, let's go! Oh! Is that... Someone from the house? They have been frozen by the king's curse. That's... That's another house maiden. She... she often helped me with chores. I can't believe she's... Mm, what was she like? Tell a bit... tell us a bit about her. Oh, she... she started working at the house before me. So she often had to teach me how to do basic things. <laughs> like what? Like... how to cut veggies without cutting my fingers too? Bell! I... I know how to do it now. You go... I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that! Cute. What? Cute? It's cute, right? That's how I remember. She... 
taught me how to do it. And she always helped bandage my hands after I hurt myself. Shaking her head, telling me to be more careful next time. She was... Such a nice person. She never hurt anyone. The king. Why would the king do this? And I can't even do anything to save her. She's been under the curse for too long. I can't reverse it. I... I'm so... Mirabel. Well, this is awkward. The king is powering the curse. So if we manage to beat him, everyone should go back to normal. But every new floor, the sadnesses are getting stronger. At some point, we might end up being frozen in time ourselves. If it happens... I... I don't have the power to save anyone from being frozen yet. But I'm close. I'm close to getting it. I swear. Sounds like you should fight some sadnesses and get some experience to make sure Mirabel can protect you during battle. Hey, Stardust. Just like your researchers said, sadnesses are getting stronger. Some of them have the same power as the king. The power to freeze you in time. Uh-oh. Your housemaiden is immune to such attacks. But if you're frozen in time, you won't be able to act. If everyone is frozen in time, and your housemaid is now cold, you lose. So if someone is frozen, make sure to use her lovely moving cure skill, okay? Okay. Bye. Well, when she learns the skill, of course. Make sure to level her up a bit, okay? Okay. So maybe I should go back and level up with the enemies that don't freeze me? No save point here. So I say just to be safe, we level until Mirabel levels. Okay, this is a two-part enemy. Both rock, allegedly. Also, all the enemies in this floor are crying. Let's boost our speed since there's two enemies. They're a rock type. Boost our defense. So I think it could be smart for characters who are weak against the type to just guard on turns instead. Oh, I'm frozen. The top half is resistant to paper, so that means it's a scissor type. Oh, the devil's in its hand! Oh, it did nothing. Oh no, oh no, oh no! The devil is now vulnerable. But now the devil's gonna attack. The devil cries softly. Oh, yay! He's sad. <laughs> okay, rock damage. Oh, it did nothing because it was in the hand. You breathe in and out. 500 XP received. Oh, Sifrin has full HP. 
Okay, so I guess if they get frozen, whenever the battle ends, they revive. But if everybody's frozen and then Mirabelle dies, it's game over. Okay, that's manageable. Maybe she can heal, like, temporary freeze, but not, like, forever freeze. Hmm. Also, guys, we are... Another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click that follow button. You get cool emotes, and you get to dive in chat! Do it now! And if you're already following, make sure notifications are turned on. That way we don't miss a single stream. They're Frozone, like Incredibles? I watched Incredibles 2 a couple weeks back. And it's good. But it definitely felt like a sequel movie. I think it's because, like, I'm a sucker for origin stories. Yeah, chat is in 10 minute follow mode. I only... Uh, disable it for raids. But thanks for the reminder. You know, me and the mods, which are me, myself, and I, are on top of it. You know, I've been doing this shit for three years. I know what I'm doing. Back in it. Yeah, so I'm gonna level until Bonnie levels up. Sure, bud. Shut up. Hi, cutie Lee. Can we get some yos? Hello. You know, I'm doing all this shit by myself. You have a whole crew now. Welcome in. Nah, I'm messing. I am looking forward to what you guys make. Because when you do have more people on hand, you can probably make better shit. I'm locked in. Peace and getting feisty? No, we have like a secret beef. <laughs> Okay, so rock type. Increase our speed, because this guy's scary. No! Fuck! It's the enemies to lovers are- Oh my god, that's my favorite trope. She's dead. Okay, we have to revive her. We gotta do it. Wasn't Mira hated? No, Mira's fine. She's fine. It's just Mira reminds me of like younger me and I hate how anxious she is because it reminds me of me. The devil cries out. Ooh, old Al being cries frozen ain't good. That is not good. Turn it up. Yeah, the devil probably will not attack. The devil's now vulnerable. Lower defense. I'll do it. I forgot- <gasps> Oh my god! I forgot that, that some of the craft offensive moves do do status changes. Huge. You breathe in and out. 500 XP received. Mirabel is now level 47 and learned the craft skill Lovely Moving Cure. Nice. Mirabel just learned a new skill. Oh, thing change. I'll be able to help out more. You got the memory of Lovely Moving Cure. You'll always remember this. When equipped, your housemaid will be able to use Loving Moving Cure as a skill, even if she isn't at level 47. Loving Moving Cure is a skill that cures Frozen for one ally. It's very useful that she knows this. Memory of Mirabelle. 
Mirabel kind and shy. This is how you remember her. Plus five to all stats. We're swapping that for the lovely cure. Now I feel comfortable to continue on. Yeah, I can't go back to save, and that's a big bummer. So if I die, I die. Oh well. But this is gonna be a deathless run, don't worry. Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't see it! <laughs> that actually scared me! <laughs> oh my god. I've never played a Persona game, but should I? What in tarnation? Okay, it's a rock type. Scary. I don't want to heal yet. Lovely moving cure, I assume, is blacked out because nobody's frozen. Watch this. Bo is my goat. You breathe in and out. 300 XP received. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I don't want to touch that person, because I think it's like cooties. If you touch them, you die. No, I don't need to heal. I can wait. A botanical room. Some frozen flowers. They smell like flowers. The closet is the closet was filled with gardening supplies. And you got the garden scissors. You put the garden scissors in your pocket to equip later. Ooh. Dude, imagine pulling up to a fight with gardening shears. <laughs> Wait, that actually be kind of scary. Because you know when somebody pulls up to a fight with a weapon that's not really a real weapon? You know they know how to use it. Yeah, I tried. I got temporary contacts, and I literally could not get them in my eye. Because for some reason, my optometrist was supposed to, like, teach me how to use them when I picked them up, but they didn't. So I had it with- I, so I had the lenses for two weeks, and I tried to put it in every day, and I couldn't do it. Also, like, glasses are cute. And allegedly, if you have glasses, they make you more attractive, because they make your face look more symmetrical, so therefore you look more inviting. And I learned that in a true crime documentary about Ted Bundy. Anyway, let's see what the knife does. Gardening scissors. Boosts attack, but lowers attack speed. I don't care about attack speed. I want the scissors. some tiny frozen plants. They look healthy. Whoever took care of them before they got frozen did a good job. A tiny dying plant. This plant looks like it's dying. It looks all pathetic. <laughs> Very sad. Very mistreated. Who would do this? It, It's mine. There's drama in the friend group. I was taking a gardening class before the king attacked. Oops. Crab. Crab! 
a chair. <laughs> okay, you cannot be lusting over Ted Bundy. I thought you were gay. <laughs> a stool. But there is only one, so it'll be rude to sit down. Different types of soil. Some frozen flowers. They smell like flowers. Very big plants. And some tonics. This room is a mess. We got two super sour tonics. You got one sweet tonic. You give them to Bonnie for safekeeping. Let's see who this is. Someone frozen in time. Oh, that's... That's one of the house cooks. She was in the gardening class with me. She was taking the class to learn how to grow tasty vegetables. She often made soup with the veggies she made. <laughs> Once, she said she needed some help breaking apart a turnip she grew to make it into a soup. So we told her to bring it to class and we'd all help her. And next class, she brought the biggest turnip I'd ever seen. She had trouble even fitting it through the door. <laughs> what? We spent the entire class trying to cut it. It was that big. <laughs> oh. How was the turnip? Oh, it, it tasted awful. But since she's a cook and really particular about taste, we had to act as if it was delicious. Think chance... Or think change. Think change I was taking in acting class too. Wow. There's no place to pass through with everyone following you. You try your best to pass through the tight space between your allies, the tables, and the wall. What? Oh, maybe because I clicked go back up. I don't know. We're gonna wait for this guy to... You know, I thought he wouldn't see me. But I guess not. The rock guy has a paper type move. Hmm. I'm gonna heal with Mirabelle first, just to be safe. Because we can't lose all old island in this fight. Boost defense. This could be a longer fight. It's fine if it freezes Sifron, that's okay. So it does have paper moves. The devil's not, like, actually freezing anymore. Oop! Dude, we're struggling! I'm gonna do the paper move now, because right now... Bo and Odal... We'll attack before the enemy does, because we're quicker. Our attack gauge is higher. And then... 
since Bo isn't necessarily strong or weak, we'll do heals. In serio? freeze once per turn. No, there was one time where it froze two people. Take him out, Bo. Thank you. The devil resisted... Mirabelle's immune to freezing. It resisted paper, that means it's a scissor time. Oh, it was weak to scissors. That means it's wrong. Wait, what? I still don't understand the typing sometimes. Maybe I should go practice rock, paper, scissors on the playground again. You breathe in and out. 500 XP received. Oh, well, Sifrin was not fully healed. I'll save my items because I don't have a lot. Hi, Ethan. A statue of the change god. It's been destroyed. A statue of the change god. It's been destroyed. Oh! That's the head housemaid in his office. Someone like her definitely has some good stuff, right? Like keys? Like snacks? Like information. Let's look around. A pile of papers. You take one at random. It's a petition to serve more bread at lunch. You know, not every place has unlimited breadsticks, but every place should. Why not? Some frozen flowers. They smell like flowers. It's a pillar. Childish drawings of a tall, bright woman. The bookcase is filled with books about various subjects. Various boring subjects. You leave the bookcase alone. A change ornament. A statue of the change god. It's been destroyed. A change ornament. Some notes about the king. The head housemaid must have been looking for more information about him. Why do you even call the king the king? The guard isn't a monarchy. Is a king just the title he chose? Yes, but he chose it. Calling him something else would be rude? Yeah, that's just basic manners. The guard is so weird. Guys, I would now like to be called Queen peace in from now on. Thank you. The closet. It's full of boring administrative papers. Childish drawings of a tall, bright woman. That sure is a pillar. Some paper and ink. On the paper you can see a spreadsheet of some kind. There's two columns. One filled with names, while the other only has one or two. The first full column is titled Save the Guard. The second, near empty column, is titled Other. 
What could this be? What could this be about? Wait, are we all orchestrated in a big plot and story to save the world? A desk. Most of the side of the desk is taken by a single massive drawer. Whoa, it's completely stuffed full. You start looking through it while everyone talks. So, this is the office of... The head house made into the house of Dormont. She's wonderful. She manages the house and makes sure everyone is happy and fulfilled. She organizes a lot of events too. She's also a great crafter. She always creates wonderful items that makes everyone's lives easier. She taught me so much. Most of the craft skills I know I've learned from her. She was the one, wasn't she? The one who was supposed to... Yes. She's the one who was supposed to defeat the king. But the king was too strong and attacked out of nowhere and now... I don't know what happened to her. When I fled the house, the king might have already... Uh, don't worry, Mira. If she's that strong, I'm sure we'll find her safe and sound eventually. Yeah. Positive. I have to stay positive. The drawer is full of notes and boring administrative papers. No key. But why is it shining, then? You should look elsewhere. What? Fine, we'll look around. <coughs> oh! There was nothing important there, right? So this is fine. What a waste of time. At least we didn't get squashed, though. God damn, that was close. A big rock. At least this one didn't fall right on you or anyone else. Could we maybe break it down? We could try. But... <laughs> Smash! Oh, the rock did not flinch. How's your fist? I I'm okay. I I'm okay. I'm okay. I don't think he's okay, guys. <laughs> How do streamers not lose their voice? Um, I don't know. I don't do any, like, proper voice exercising or anything. I just click alive and yeah, which is probably gonna fuck up my throat when I'm old. But, you know, we're not doing this my whole life, so it's fine. Any voice actors in chat who can help me? I'm trying to think. I breathe with my nose. And I feel like that's easier than a mouth breather, if that makes sense. I want to look that up, actually. Will I look it up? Guys, we are two hours in the stream. So it's time for you to run some ads. You don't want to stream forever? Do you really think I can be like that one grandma on TikTok who streams... Or that one grandpa who streams, like, Call of Duty? Do you, do you want that to be me? No, but imagine all the money I could make my whole live streaming. Hmm. Nah, I'm kidding. I don't know. I, I think, like, when you hit 30, then there is no way you can relate to a younger audience anymore. You're, you're like, literally a dad at that point. Yeah, I don't... I, I, I'm gonna give myself till I'm 30. So you guys got me for five more years, at least. Unless I get a real job. Or unless the art business pops off, then. You'll be like the Skyrim grandma? Yeah. You guys want that? Alright, okay. Bigger question. Are you guys gonna keep watching me when I'm older? Or are you gonna, like, find younger streamers like Kai or something? Also, I ran the ad without the, tr without the transition. Get fucked. Okay. I want to look up voice acting. Better to breathe from mouth or nose. Depends if I make it past 27. Don't worry, you'll be here. You'll be here. I believe in you. First result says breathing through your nose is actually better for a voice actor because it takes less air for your mouth to talk if you're like a naturally nose breather. Yes, that's why like I'm not dead. 
But for singing, it's better to breathe through your mouth because then you get like a more rich sound, allegedly. Wait, can you guys wiggle your nose? <laughs> I remember when I was little, I was at my friend's house and like her mom could not stop laughing at me wiggling my ears. Wait, can I do it? You can't see it. Oh my god, I can still do it. I remember that was like my little party trick when I was younger. It would make her die laughing every time I did it. I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, back to the game. I still don't know how I- Oh wait, after I ended stream yesterday, like when I got home from the dentist, like my throat was dead. But it could have been from the anesthetic. But I felt fine this morning. Cause like when you're when you're streaming, you're not like talking the whole time enthusiastically. Like I think it'd be a lot different if you were like narrating a book or like singing for an extended period of time. But when you're just yapping, or even doing this isn't that bad. But whenever I do games like this, I don't give like a hundred percent voice acting skill or effort. Cause I understand that I'm doing this for like a longer period of time. I don't know. Okay, well, let's see. Hopefully we didn't need anything in that room, surely. <laughs> I tried. Flush. Rock is weak to paper. So we switch to Cyprin. You breathe in and out. 300 XP received. Oh, should I touch it? No, I'm not doing it. I was gonna like get super close for a joke, but I'm not I'm not committing to that. No. That door sure is locked. Yep. That sucks. Mirabel, any idea where the key for this would be? I'm not sure. I Oh. Oh no. Uh-oh. I remember. The key? The key is in the head housemaid's office in her desk drawer. We- uh, We literally looked in the drawer! We're so stupid! What? How did you miss it? Uh-oh. We probably weren't supposed to go in the room first, honestly. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should have remembered. Why didn't I remember? Hey, don't worry about it, Mira. Yes, you're not to blame here. If anything, it was Sifrin's job to look out for things, so... Hey. Can we break it down? It looks really solid. And the fact that it's frozen in time doesn't help. So... Are we stuck? Well, we could keep exploring this floor, but I'm... I'm pretty sure the key for that door was in the office. If we can't access it, what should we do? Reset. You could. I was joking. No, I don't want to loop. That's why they put the the goop right there. Oh, that's so annoying. Please don't. There's no save point. You could loop back to before the room collapsed, couldn't you? And explore the admin room more? You could also stay here, but... You don't think there's any point. Hey, Stardust. Sorry to interrupt, 
but I'm here in your head to beam you some amazing advice. See this little icon on the top right? This is a helpful little icon to inform you that you are stuck in time. No matter what, you won't be able to progress any farther in the house in this loop. Only thing you can do is find a way to loop back. Whoopsies. Say, though. Didn't you see some tears on the way there? They might do the trick if you need to loop back easily. Come say hi sometime. I'm so lonely. Shab shab. <laughs> do you feel sorry for me yet? I don't want to loop back. I've done so much leveling. I'm trying to see if there's a save point somewhere. Which I don't think there is in floor two. But I'll try my darndest. Breathe in and out. 300 XP received. Oh, I thought my game glitched. I just wasn't pressing down on the track. <laughs> Awkward. I don't think there's any way I can dodge him. But it's fine, because I got a level anyway. Imagine he froze us all. Okay, the devil... ...is a paper type. I need to remember. Devil, paper, devil, paper. Devil's on the paper, which is money. Make us faster first, actually. Mirabelle, you dummy. Bonnie is so stupid. I swear to God. Can we just kick Bonnie from the team? Can't let old dial die. <laughs> yes, sir. And the devil was a paper type. Then and out. 500 XP received.
Increase our speed, because we're very slow compared to this enemy in particular. User, you breathe in and out. 500 XP received. What happens if I just touch the door? The gate is locked. The ghoul is shaped like a hand in the scissors position. There's also a note stuck on the gate. The key is located in the trap building room. The king is leaving notes now. He must be forgetful. What an idiot. Hey, it happens. We have our own little forgetful one with us, don't we? Everyone looks at you. You pout. It it's okay, Sifrin. We'll remember things for you. You have many other talents, I'm sure. Not sure if it helps, Mira. Got him. Okay, I'm gonna try and backtrack and see if I can access the save point in floor one. If not, then I do have to loop, and that sucks. Oh wait, it was after! I forgot we had the lunch room. Nice. Okay, now we just gotta die. I totally forgot about the lunch room. Everybody? I have to do it. Wait, I didn't touch I touched it. Or maybe I have to click on it. Never seen this guy in my life. He's gonna explode! It's a rock type, because it resisted the scissor. Dial. Anxiety. Oh my 
my god! You breathe in and out. 700 XP received. That was scary. I'm gonna go save. The tear floats gently. Touch it. I'll see you on the flip side. You reach out to the tear. A tear froze you in time. Start again. Hey, a Stardust. Welcome back. Here's something I forgot to mention before. I'll save you time so it's important, so listen up. Do you see the house now? Do you see how you can loop to specific moments? Specific places? Looping backwards in time is a piece of cake for you, but looping forwards in time is going to be a little harder. You're going against the loop's will, after all. To be able to move forwards in time when you die, you need to use up some of your memories. Oh no. Do you see that little star symbol at the bottom of the screen? It shows you how many memories you have at your disposal. Trying to get farther than you were trying to get farther than where you just died will cost you some memories, so make sure you have enough memories to spend. Oh, I can sense you're panicking. Don't worry. This won't use up the good fun memories you have of your party. Just the boring, useless memories you have of your battles. Have you noticed? For each battle you fought, You've gained one memory of skirmish, and those are the memories you can use to loop forward. Over time, you'll fight some battles that'll earn you more memories. Isn't that neat? Wow. Look at me. Yapping and yapping. Peace I to yap. I'll condense all of that information in one sentence. To loop forwards in time, you'll need memories, which you gain every time you win a battle. And by the way, you opened a floor's gate. Good work good work. If you manage to open a floor's gate in the future, when you loop back, you'll be able to get to that floor with most doors open by using memories. Pretty useful if you're too lazy to find all those keys again. To unlock all the doors, plus Y on the map screen. Do it. Do it. Well, not now. I'm talking. Okay. Now. How many memories does it cost, though? I kind of want to go back to the town because I want to talk to the star lady. Loop 3. You wake up. You yawn. Who knew being frozen in time just felt like a nice nap? Oh, no Mirabelle here. I think every time I have to loop, I'll talk to the star person. Ciprin, you're up! The usual, please. Hey, Mira. Hey, Ciprin! Ah, uh, the nap was alright. I'm glad. I know how much you value your naps. friends are back to where they were. No. You always make the joke.
Okay, I can't skip this. Why? There must be something new here. Okay, nothing new here. This is giving Undertale? No, for real, for real. Yo. Let's just be up a little bit. Ah, <laughs> oh, did you come to see me? Was it because you felt sorry for me, all alone under this big tree? That's so sweet, Stardust. You're regretting it now. Ah, oh, Stardust, I can tell you're starting to like me. It's okay, just admit it. I won't judge. It's not weird. Ah. <laughs> Anyway, how can I help you on this wonderful new loop? I think I understand what I need to do. I just want to talk. Uh, let's talk about something. Sure. What do you want to talk about? What do you do when I'm not here? Excuse you. My life doesn't revolve around you. I do loads of things while you're gone. Like... I look at the sky. And, um, I take a nap sometimes. Dream about things. What do you dream about? What do you dream about? Your mom. I had a question about... Should I check everything again? You mean... Should you check the same barrels, the same closets, the same objects on tables every loop? I mean, you can, but you know things won't change, right? If you really want to get a certain item again, or listens to your friends repeat something funny, you should. I personally would only check two or three things every loop and ignore the rest. It'll make you crazy to expect something to change when nothing will. All that might change is your reaction to it. Hmm. I looked at the screen, and I actually thought they put your mom in the dialogue. I mean, Sifrin is pretty sassy. I bet you five bucks we will see your mom joke here. Uh, not nothing. Nothing. See you later, Stardust. They wave at you excitedly. You awkwardly wave back as you go. Hmm. I still want to, like, talk to... The star girl. Because I kind of want to exhaust all the dialogue that I can. You know, that's why, like, you gotta watch and listen to the stream. Sometimes I put little jokes and tidbits and Easter eggs. You never know what to expect with a piece in stream. Oh, I can just skip. I don't have to talk to everybody. Cool. See how many memories I have? Memory of Skirmish 55. It didn't cost anything. I had 55. When I respawned. When I'm playing Minecraft on the other monitor. Wait! I thought I was a first monitor streamer. What? Cutely was right. No. No. All they do is yap, yap, yap. New story game? Yes, sir. Hi, Cole Bobo. Can we get some yos? Hello. It's kind of like Amori, but like not as scary. <laughs> Thank God. Oh my God, it's Bo! Screenshot. Oh my God, look at him. Swoon. Just tell me you like me already. Do it, little bitch. Sorry. I said this yesterday, but if you can't confess, you're a little bitch. What's the disgusting? Oh my God. No, he's cute. <laughs> I 
I forgot I added the three R to my name. You're gonna regret that for the rest of your life. I'm saying it now. And we're in. Oh, wait. Since I reset at the start, do I have to get all the keys again? Wait. At least I can change my user after 60 days, bro. It would take a lot for me to change my username. There's so much branding that's like pinnacle to the piece and underscore 17 brand. The only thing that I would change is my emote code. I really want the code piece and I don't, I know piece I too is funny, but I really want piece. In. Turn it up right now. Isn't that a song? I'm locked in. Might take it out. Oh, yes, sir. You breathe in and out. 100 XP received. I still am only at 55 memories. I took out an enemy. What? I don't understand that system. I also forgot which corridor is the boulder room. I think it's this one. It is. No, it's not. Me all be day. All right. Ouch. Did you just No. Run into the door. Uh, no, I didn't. You imagined it. Oh, no. I didn't think it'd be locked. The king's scared of us, right? He has to be, since he's putting locked doors in our way. Hopefully the key won't be hard to find. Let's take a look around. Huh. Looking at the door, you notice a symbol over the keyhole. It looks like a circle. Inside a circle, inside a circle. Okay, so that means every time I reset and talk to the star lady... I have to do the keys again. Which is fine. But not ideal. Man. Guys, get cozy. I'm editor cut to when I have the fucking key. Also, guys, we're in the 30 minutes in the stream. So if you're new here, click that follow button. You get cooling buttons and you get to type a chat. Isn't that pretty sick? <gasps> that was pretty quick, huh? You know what I've always wanted to do? I wanted to be one of the duh, 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 people at the auctions. But I don't know if I can do that because of my stutter. <laughs> I got the key. I Did it save my items? It didn't. Yeah, 
yeah, I still have some of the items from the previous loops. I don't, I still, I kind of understand the loop concept, but not really still. better to just play through the whole game again because I think there was another pendant item in like floor two and you don't want to miss it because I assume you'll probably need like all the pendants for like a secret mission at the end eh, it's okay I don't mind playing it over again easy now this is the switch room. <laughs> you chuckle. <laughs> Bonk. What? At least we're still like higher level so we can get through these lower flows lower floors quicker. And I assume there's gonna be a scripted deck in every single floor. Just so for not too demanding. Make us faster because this could be a longer fight. Bonnie's accuracy is getting better. They used to miss like every single attack. Easy. You breathe in. 450 XP received. Oh yeah, I think this room was where we got the tear pendant. This guy's really got a vendetta but really got a vendetta against Mirabelle. You breathe in and out. 200 XP received. Easy. Oh, I 
Oh, so close! You breathe in and out. 200 XP received. Ah, I was close. Cifrin's dead. Oh seven. My goal with my playthrough is to have no, like, resets because I lost in a battle. I only want scripted deaths. I'm forgetting that I should do the multiple enemy attacks. Bar. There's like literally nothing. Zoom in. There's no white in the cage. And I'm not colorblind. I am tone deaf, but not visual tones. Anyway. You breathe in and out. 450 XP received. I believe we get the pendant after this guy. Oh, I forgot to heal Sifrin. Oh no! <laughs> this is awkward. Wait, do I not have a revive? Oh, right there. So that means it's a paper attack. 
scissor might work? Yep, scissors, okay. Combo. I wasn't even trying. You breathe in and out. 1,100 XP received. You got the Star Crest. Oh yeah, so the Star Crest is the thing that does get us through tiers. Now I got 60 memories of skirmish. Maybe it's only when I kill the big enemies. You're not that guy. Wait, I forgot I was in the city. I forgot to see if I could buy items, damn it. You breathe in and out. 400 XP received. I do think it's really cute how you can pass on different turns to your friends. It really like enforces the friendship themes. Yes, I will use the Star Crest. <laughs> were tears. The villagers in Dormont called them tears, and if you touch them, you get frozen in time. Huh. Good thing we found the crest, then. Hip you hit your hip on the counter again. Oh. And... Sifrin. Did you really hit the counter and say, I'm not doing that? Yes, I did. Sif. Cat Sif. <laughs> Yo! Bo like that. Egg key has been retrieved. Can't go through tears! Shit. I tried. God damn! 
home. We're all so strong. You breathe in and out. 510 XP received. My game glitched. I was running and didn't run. Be able to attack before they can hit us. But Oda can only attack one enemy. I should take out the paper. Oh, wait, that's rock in the front. Gucci. You breathe in and out. 510 XP received. We continue on. Dang it. I accidentally walked into the wall. <laughs> Just kick Cyprin when they're down. Raising our defense because I don't want to die. And slowing him down as well because I don't want to die. This enemy's faster than us. but it's still worth 200 damage. Taking out the scissor part because they could take out me. You breathe in and out. 450 XP received.
I tried. Wait, I forgot to heal. Is that a problem? That is going to be a problem. Now I'm not going to switch my turn. I'm going to make us faster. Because it's going to be Mirabelle's turn next, yeah. Tell me how many turns I'm away from using the craft again. Bonnie the goat. This could take him out right here. Breathe in, then out. 450 XP received. Sifrin is now level 48. And learn the craft skill buy one, get one three. Okay, well, I don't know how to view what the perk is, so we'll see what it is in battle. Buy one, get one three. Deals three scissor hits to one enemy. High chance of doing a crit. That's kind of crazy. Gonna give our turn to Mira. Even if the scissors resistant to paper, this should still kill because they're such low health. Mm-hmm. You breathe in and out. 450 XP received. Okay, I regret going back to see the Star Lady now. I should have just fast forwarded. Oof.
should not still be alive. There we go. You breathe in and out. 450 XP received. You breathe in and out. 200 XP received. And you know what some of you guys will receive? An ad. Because we are three hours in the stream, so... If you want to avoid that ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for $5.99, just $6. Skip your coffee and get ad previewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and subscribe for free. Ain't no way. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. Also need to fix my hair i've been here for three hours i swear it's been only 45 you know what that means time just flies when you're having fun right no what i think is like this game is very grindy so like i know i kind of like zone out a little i'm just excited for more story i want more lore We're back in. We love Laura, of course. Hi, Marceline. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. Key time. That's the one thing I like about the RPG games that are like this. I love, like, the slow burn of seeing what'll happen. Like, I know the grinding can be a bit, like, frustrating or repetitive, but then it just makes the reward so much better, you know? I've been here for a bit. Thank you for the lurk. You know, I don't expect everybody to chat, and I'll say it. Lurkers are better than chatters. But don't, like, rehash the times that I said chatters are better than lurkers. They're all great. <laughs> Yikes. Oh. <laughs> what? I... You know, you guys know I'm a people pleaser. I just, I will say what you guys want to hear. I'm at work right now. Me too, technically. This is my job. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm locked in. Rock type? It was hard for me to like watch streams when I was at work or like watch YouTube or listen to music because I did food service so like it was fine when I was in the bathroom like doing prep but otherwise you had to like actually listen to people like take their orders you couldn't have like <laughs> I'm trying to think of a funny song to like play in your earbud like you know the videos where they like on the street they're like what are you listening to and then they say some like weird obscure shit and walk away <laughs> I can't think of anything funny <laughs> I think the first one of those trend videos I saw, the person replied, The Raisin by Hoobastank. Which, I do really like that song too. I have a distinct memory of being in high school. I was waiting, it was after school, and it's like, I was waiting for my friends to like get on the bus. Because the bus would leave at the school like five or ten minutes after like the bell rang. So I was loitering in the school lot, and I had one of the earphones where it had like the string in the middle. You know, I swear, I was thinking about this on the bus last night. 
Like, nobody... I see very few people with wired headphones. Everybody's got Bluetooth now. You breathe in and out. 200 XP received. Anyway. So, my friend, she, like, took my earbud and she started listening. And she's like, why are you listening to such a sad song? And I was listening to The Reason My Hoop is Dang. And, like, I was listening to it on repeat and she saw my screen. She's like, you're crazy. What are you doing? And I was like, I'm just trying to learn the song. <laughs> but in reality, I was really sad at the time. She's like, you need to listen to more happy music. And this friend, she was, like, really into K-pop. I think she was trying to convert me into a an army. She was trying to enlist me in the BTS army. I've heard produce is pretty slow. You know what? Wait, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> when I hear produce stand, I can only think of like Wattpod AUs. Like the classics. <laughs> I need to lock in. Because there would always be a coffee shop AU, there would always be a high school AU. There would also be, like, in turn, with coffee shop, there'd be, like, flower shop or produce stand worker AU. <laughs> Dude, I read so much Wattpad from when I was, like, 16 to 17. But once I became an adult, I stopped. I don't know what clicked in my head. You know, I think it's kind of like when I turn 25. I feel like so much more mature now. I escaped those? Escaped what? It better not be Fall Guys Jail. Oh my god, I almost knocked my cup over. Fall Guys Jail. Wait, is that- is it the emote? Shit. Fall. Oh, it's Fall Hell. That's such a stupid name for an emo Twitch death. Wait, I need to check something. <laughs> Wait, sorry. <laughs> I still read Wattpad slow. Okay, you know how like Twitch tweeted out? Like a week ago that they got rid of Javasted. I genuinely thought they did. Am I stupid? Isabel was now level 46 and learned the craft skills so weak. Ooh! Odal is now level 46. Oh yeah, because they lost their levels. Some of them did. So weak. Anyway, so... <laughs> They didn't get rid of Javasid. Oh my god, I'm so gullible. It's embarrassing. No! Caught. It's been a long time since I've, like, read anything. The only thing I read is, like, my sometimes toxic YouTube comments. I'm oh, good. Oh, like, I escaped the references. Oh. Does that mean you know what lemon means? <laughs> no, I don't know what lemon means. <laughs> no, I can't leak this. I only got into Wattpad because my sister also read Wattpad. And I don't want to share <laughs> what she read. It's not anything bad. It's just like a really weird fandom. I think- oh, what did I read? Oh my god, I'm snitching. I'm self-reporting. I read so much Supernatural. So much Hayaku. I think those were the main ones. Oh, and also Yuri and Ice. Dude, I loved it. I didn't like like anime, I just like the gay shit. 
I'm big on the X Raider fanfics. I could never do those. Those those were like too much for me. They were too much. You got the broken egg key, W. Oh my god, please! Damn it. Double whammy. But I never wrote any fanfic. I remember I only had email notifications for one story. And the, the author would only update it like once every year. But they haven't updated it in four years and I'm getting kind of worried. Have I seen the piece in fanfics? Guys, please don't. <laughs> you know, I said fan edits, not fan fictions. There's a big difference. Isn't it AOW archive of our own, not AOC? You're not even a real fanfic guy, Ethan. <laughs> Mostly Naruto and Inuyasha. So does does that mean you're a weeb? It's fine if you are. This is a weeb friendly chat room. I, it's kind of like furry shit. Like keep it to yourself. I can't. I can't. I, I feel like I've gotten a lot better at like delivering lines straight or jokes, but I can't. I can't sometimes. You know, my Tic Tac feed is still just people trauma dumping and then like food and travel videos. Because my sister, she doesn't have Tic Tac, but she likes using it on my phone and my roommate's phone, so she'll just type Japan and then cat videos on Tic Tac and watch those. So she's fucked up my algorithm. Now I look like a fucking weeb. Which is fine because I'm half Japanese. But what is good? Because for the longest time, I banned the word food from my FYP because, like, it got to a point where every time I saw a food video, I would get hungry. But now, I don't get hungry no more. Young girl into toxic cute guys. No, that's so real. <laughs> you know, I think everybody wants a bad boy, but they don't want to like accept the reality of like what it would actually be like dating a bad boy. You breathe it in and out. 400 XP received. Mirabelle is now level 46. Fuck. I do? Any takers? No, guys, please don't date in my Twitch chat. We already have a couple in here. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not scared of this. But like, I don't want people hooking up in my chat. to give it to Mirabelle so Mirabelle can heal, but I misclicked. Well... Hm. 
<laughs> what you said. <laughs> Upvote. I've never used Reddit, and I literally have no desire to use it. W. The only time I use Reddit is if I need to, like, look up a game tutorial or, like, a niche hardware issue. And then I just type into Google how to use screwdriver. Parentheses, not the fun kind. And then I look at the top result on Reddit. Oops, I did not see him. <laughs> oh! Oh, seven. streams I want to do. We still have to do Poker Rogue. And I still have to beat Stupid Lucia. Is Poker Rogue still popping off? It's been like two or three months since it's come out, right? Because I promised chat once I beat the actual peace lock, then we would do Poker Rogue. But you know how I am. I don't like playing shit when it's popular. That's why you should always support your local indie streamer, guys. Peason underscore 70 for Hidden Gem 2024. I think we can do it this year. the paper out. That was sick. Wait, this is new. Ah! We almost got it! It's very weak. A slightly stronger blow would have done it. Well, if it's weak. Wanna deal the final blow, Bonnie? Can I? It is pretty weak, so... Sure. Knock yourself out. Okay! Here I go! Yeah! You clap. Great job, Bonbon. Bon. You did good. What would we have done without you? Hmm. If an enemy is close to death, your little kiddo might deal the final blow. Look at them. So proud. Like a little bird who flew for the first time. Okay, that's new. Cool. You know what? I'll say it. I'll accept Bonnie on the team now.
You breathe in and out. 510 XP received. Dude, just let me live! <laughs> yeah, just kick me while I'm down, why don't you? You breathe in and out. 200 XP received. Thank you, finally. Yeah, every time we reset, we're not doing this again. I ain't doing it. And we're in. After an hour. That was pointless. A sadness! Let's get him, boys. Paper. Now this fight was key. Try to get some crits in now. So this enemy just, in general, is higher defense. I'm gonna slow it down first. Scissors now. <clears throat> Will I stream GTA 6? Probably not. I don't like open world games. I think it's because when you give me too many options, it feels like real life and... Sometimes I just like to escape in a game, you know? Open world games, I usually play with my sister. Because she loves those type of games, so like, whenever she gets home from work, we'll play it for like an hour or two. And she's really excited for GTA 6. Okay, it was scissors. So weak. Lower one enemy's attack. That's kind of cool. Ah. 
I'm gonna guard because an attack is incoming. Unlucky. Also gonna guard. Guarding as well. Because I need to get the rock combo. One way. Or one A way. Still gonna guard. Because I can't do the rock attack. Still guarding? Increase our speed? Of course now it's paper. Oh, it didn't do that much damage. Okay, I still want to do the rock attack just so we get the combo. It's immune, let's see what it does. <laughs> okay, it did top up everyone's health though, so it's kind of worth it. Dang it. I forgot I just used scissors the previous turn. Now for the proper combo. Watch this. Hell yeah! It still has a lot of health left though. check because I don't know if it changed or not. Okay, so I don't think it changed. It's not saying.
yeah, still paper type. Next turn is going to be a combo. Oh, come on. It changed, but we can't see it. Scissors, so that means it's scissor type. <laughs> or a scissor or rock. It is scissor. This should take him out. Come on, Bonnie. That's also great. I wanted to heal. A double whammy? Oh my god, Bonnie. 2,000 damage? Wait, Bonnie's kind of the goat. You breathe in and out. 6,000 XP received. Sifrin is now level 49. Mirabelle is now 47. Isabelle is now level 47. Odal is now level 47. Let's go. You know who else is winning? People who follow the channel. Because guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream. So if you're new here, click follow. You get clue modes and you get to type in chat. Do it now. The ominous corridor. Yeah, this was the snack room. It fell on heads this time. Heads? The last time, didn't it? Huh. Ah, too bad. Interesting. You now owe me. Oh, we were betting? You now owe me a thousand. A thousand what? Books. Books! Oh, I can't believe this. Betrayed by a friend. We're not friends. We're associates. Not companions. Colleagues. Allies at best. Not even soulmates. Can't believe you've gone... <laughs> Sorry, that, those two words together. Can't believe you've gone down to being an acquaintance now. No! What was the coin flip about, madame? Ah, well, as the favor you to make me win my next coin flip. Huh? Such a silly favor. Purely for scientific reasons. I was wondering whether this favor tree business had any truth to it. As we can see, it does. But that wasn't the best experiment to prove it. There's a 50-50 chance, after all. You don't believe you won thanks to the favor tree? And not really. Call me weird, but I don't think a tree can grant favors. Oh. But Madame Odile didn't care about what she was asking, so why would the favor tree care, huh? If he wants something to come true, it definitely will. You think so? Absolutely. Oh, Bonnie. You're glad to see Bonnie smile again. 
Okay, who wants snacks? I have snacks. Today, I have many snacks at your disposal. I have... Plantain chips. Okay, there must be something new here. Cookies, galletas. E jelly donut. I can choose a different one now. I'll take the cookie. I'll take the cookie. There! You go! Me as well, please. You say very loudly. The result of the coin flip was different this time. So things related to chance are random. Good to know. After eating your snacks, everyone's health has been restored. Since we took Bo's cookie. Hey, Sif. Let me guess, you're still hungry. I can see it on your face. One half of this cookie? Oh, he still got cookies. Wait, I skipped it. Because I said, oh my god, yes, you're so handsome. I mean, strong. Uh, I, I really have the heart of a delicate maiden, you know? You have to be careful with me. Poor guy. He's also devastated that the cookie was destroyed. Oh, I must have smushed it. Oopsie. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, sir. Back to floor two. We do this all over again. But I think this time we go to the left first. Oh yeah, because we gotta go to the room before it collapses. Yes, sir. You breathe in and out. 300 XP received. Wait, does Mirabelle still have the unfreezing perk? I think so. I hope so. Mirabelle doesn't have a default paper move. Have you reached the Elite Four yet? I beat him like two weeks ago. Catch up, little bro. And I guess I should heal. Why not? But I'm almost to where we were earlier when I died, so I'm getting there. Definitely, if I reset again, I should not. I should not do the other route. <laughs> I just realized like that one sparkly was in the middle of everything. 
I think that looks a bit big. I watched that stream. Watch it again. I want the ad revenue again. <laughs> I mean, that peace lock, the final episode, is very intense. Uh oh. Oh my god. Yeah, there are ads on VODs, but I can't control the ad density. I, th I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've not had a Twitch Premium account. Like Twitch Turbo. Or a Twitch Prime. But I remember I used to watch Hassan's VODs. And this was the same ad density on every single VOD I watched. But, um... It would be every 15 minutes, there would be a, a one to two minute ad. Damn it. But if you do have Twitch Turbo, you also don't get ads on VODs as well. Along with every single live stream you watch. Oh, we're gonna die here. Fuck. <clears throat> But not many people watch VODs on Twitch. It's because Twitch doesn't push VOD content. Like, there's no separate algorithm for it. And it's a lot harder to find VODs now on your homepage. I don't watch VODs. I only watch VODs for streamers that I genuinely like. And I literally just had deja vu right now of me replying to that chat message. Monka. <clears throat> Like, if I need a video to put to, like, put on before I go to sleep. Because I like falling asleep with, like, radio or the TV on. Or, like, I'll just put on a vlog. What is Monka? Oh. It's kind of like shorthand for that emo. It's kind of like, like a scared face. Okay, I might die here. XP received. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. I survived that by a hair. Holy. I just don't want to use any of my heal items. Holy shit. Close call. Yeah, if you want to see emotes on mobile, there's like, uh, fuck. I don't know what the app is called, but there's like third-party apps you can download to where you can watch Twitch with the third-party extensions. But as always, you'll see them on screen on the actual video feed. Because I have a specific chat overlay. No, oh, let me go! Don't worry, we'll get back to where we were.
Yeah, I don't use any of those third-party apps when I watch Twitch on mobile. Because, like, I know what most of the emotes look like, so if you memorize the code, you know what it looks like. Sifrin is dead. Yeah, let's revive Sifrin. We need to bring him back. Some people read, sometimes they can't see the pictures of the stories in their mind. I used to be like that. I don't know, it was weird because like when I was little, I did not have imagination. Like I was... Okay, I scored 105 on my RADS test. <laughs> but... Which is not very common for like those on the spectrum to not be imaginative. But... I don't know. I, th I think it correlated with, like, my mental health. Like, the when my mental health became better, like, once I was, like, out of school, like, high school, like, I started, like, being able to, like, see things, like, in my head. I don't know. I've never heard of someone changing. I don't know. I, I think I'm just, like, I, I was very expresso depresso up until, like, a few years ago. And ever since then, like, simply changing my mental perspectives on life and then, like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm like a hedge case or maybe I'm like fucked up. But I never had an imagination. Okay, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm playing a video game. On Twitch. <laughs> this is not therapy. Your third eye open. Imagine if you had an imagination. Imagine. <laughs> Devil's weak to scissors! That means it's paper, so it's strong against rock. What's he doing with his hands? Nothing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Go back to the writer's room. Oh, the guy before? Oh, the devil was in his hands. You breathe in and out. 500 XP received. I'm locked in. I think if I go this way, there's no enemies. Oh. It's dialogue. Oh yeah, no enemies. Skip. <laughs> I'm, I'm deleting that. I'm deleting that. <laughs> okay, new block term. You know, I get where the... That phrase has become a meme, but like, I don't, I don't like when, when what you say, when it becomes like popular vernacular with like s super like innuendo shit. I don't, I think it's very concerning for like the younger generation. Like they should, they should like not know what that means. You know what I mean? I'm just worried about the kids. Fuck. There's no saving them anyway?
You know what's really funny? I went to a restaurant and scribbled on the wall because we got seated in like the family section. Okay, wait, I have to lock in. Anyway, we were seated, me and my friend, in the family section. And on the brick wall, scribbled in crayon, was Skibbity Toilet Sigma. In blue crayon, on the red bricks. And we were just like, what the f- <laughs> It was wild! <laughs> Bonnie's getting strong. How do we level up Bonnie? Uh -oh. Did you add Ohio Riz with your crayon? I did not get a kids menu. The last time I got a kids menu was at a sit down pizza place. Cause it was either you get a like a a twelve a sixteen inch pizza. A 10-inch or a little kid's pizza. And the only way to order the kid's pizza was if you asked for the kid's menu. So my sister and I asked for the kid's menu. And I made her ask because she looks younger than me. And the waitress was still like, are you guys sure? And we're like, yeah, we just want like a little snack. <laughs> and even the personal like kid size pizza, because it was a pan dish. It was a deep dish pan. It was the perfect size. Excuses? Do, do you think I need to eat half of a 10-inch pizza? Look at me, do you think I need to? You just wanted the crayons? She did not bring us crayons. And when I asked, she said, no, I'm kidding, I didn't ask. <laughs> I did not ask for crayons. Should I use an item? I don't want to. I don't want to! Talk to the manager? No, I'm- I will only talk to management at food places if it's like something that will like fucking kill me. Like if this food was prepared improperly or something, then I'll complain. Cause I understand like people make mistakes, like if you forget my forks, I'm not gonna throw a fit. But like if you're doing something that could get me or other people in my community sick, then yeah, I'm gonna snitch. Come on, Bo, kill him. Thank you. You breathe in and out. 300 XP received. Okay, grab the key. Now, Sifrin. You start looking for the key. So this is the office of... Ah, stars. There was a key hidden there. Sifrin, you're so bad at your job. You missed a trap and then you missed a key. It was tipped to the other side, so you missed it before. You blinding idiot. You found the rock key. The key chain dangling from it shaped like a hand in the rock position. How fitting. You put the key in your pocket. You now know where the rock key is located. W. That is like such BS. Wait, I wonder if I clicked on the drawer twice if it would have like popped up on the second try. Imagine. But we'll never know. At least we got it. And you know what else I got for some of you guys? Just kidding, it's too early for an ad. We're like 10 minutes away. Who got baited? <clears throat> oh, everybody's struggling right now.
could not get the clip to end where I wanted it to. Okay, good. Okay, see you in a bit, Ethan. Unless I end right now. I wish the healing cycled quicker. You would? Nah. I wouldn't. I need to get my hours up. You know, if I want to be dominated for Hidden Gem 2024... Wait, is there, like, minimum requirements for that, like, in terms of streaming? Because I do variety. Wait, imagine they require, like, 20 hours of League. <laughs> oh, no, they, they would require, like, 20 hours of Valorant, because that's what every single fucking small streamer does when they start. No talking. Shitty mic. Shitty Valorant gameplay. But I did not do that, because I don't, I don't play boy games. Mods. <laughs> you know, you're gonna get banned like Spartan, Ethan. It's gonna happen. And then you're gonna cry. And in, in the, in the, in the, <laughs> in the unbanned request, you're gonna be like, patient, please, I love this stream. I like clipping. I watch it at my work. Please don't, don't ban me forever. And then I'm gonna click keep banned. Because I don't do unbans here. I'm real wholesome. Yeah, true. But, I don't know. I feel like, as long as people don't, like, act up, like, intentionally, because you can tell when, like, somebody's, like, intentionally trying to, like, fuck around. Not, not like, smash, but, like, be rude and shit. But. Because I understand that, like, people go to smaller streamers to, like, troll, and that's just the culture. But, there's obviously a difference between somebody being mean and then, like, joking. I'm gonna attack. Die. Easy. You breathe in, then out. 300 XP received. I'm locked in. Now that we have the actual lock to the key, we can go in. Key time. You insert the key into the keyhole and open the door. Oh, another frozen person. You know who else might be frozen in time? The non-subs. Because guys, we are four hours in a stream. So it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid the ad by subscribing for $5.99, just $6. Skip your coffee and get out of reviewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and subscribe for free. <laughs> Rip you cheapskates? Whoa, not everybody's rich, okay? Not everybody can afford to be a tier two sub. Whoa, I would never shame the non-subs. I would never. Fingers are not crossed right now. No, an enemy hit me! No! I had to run the ad, fuck! Sorry, I just realized my sister's sleeping. I should calm down. You know, I would never discriminate based on, like, <gasps> somebody's wealth. <laughs> if you guys don't have a sub after chat gifted you 30, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> Yeah, true. I mean, subscriptions usually go to followers, and I have how many? I don't know. I don't know what this means. I was like scrolling on my phone. I think I have like 869? I don't know. Some shit like that. Or like 870? I don't know. So like, what percentage is that? I have 880? Yo! W. My goal is to get a thousand by the year. Can we do it? And I don't want no follow bots. That's cheating. Wait, should I... Should I say this? Okay. How do I say this? Any streamer who has a thousand followers or like 2.5k and they average less than 10 viewers probably has gotten botted not necessarily that they buy followers because that's TOS 
But sometimes, like, random people on Twitch will buy bot accounts and then, like, hate raid and follow raid people. Just to, like, fuck with people. Or to fuck with small streamers. I've gotten follow bot it twice, and I've deleted all the followers from that. And if I didn't delete all those follow bots, I'd be at 1500. Because I think the first time I got botted for 800... No! Yeah, it was 800. And then the second time I got botted for 200. So... But I delete any bot follows. I also ban any, like, obvious bot accounts. Because sometimes you'll get, like, one or two every day or something. I would have taken the followers and ran with it. Now, that's what a lot of people do, because, you know, follower account is important to some capacity. But on Twitch, no, it, it doesn't matter. Because if you're concerned about sponsors, sponsors will more likely look at like your Instagram or your Twitter follower account because more of the followers will actually see your posts in their feed more likely than a Twitch stream. And advertisers and sponsors for Twitch streamers look at your live viewer account, typically. Because then you'll probably have that many people actually look at the ad in the stream. So like follower account on Twitch doesn't fucking matter. The only thing you should prioritize is making sure you have a good stream. And that you have, like, active viewers in the sense of, like, chatters, if you can. I'm locked in. Plus, I- You know, I think it's cringe if somebody has 2.5k and they only average 4 viewers. You know, I just have the assumption that, oh, those followers aren't real. Like, for a channel of my size, I should average, like, 10. But since a lot of my followers are from other platforms, so, like, YouTube or TikTok, like, people followed for offline content, so they're not necessarily following for live content, they're followed just to follow me. Peace and wants active viewers, also peace and I love the lurkers more than chatters. See, I'm a people please. I'll just say what you guys want to hear. No, I've said this many times. If I had 50 viewers and only two chatters, I would be so upset. I would be so sad. Because, like, there's been streams where I've had, like, 10 viewers and literally 8 people chatting and, like, goofing and gaffing. But, like, imagine having 50 people watching and only 2 people chatting. That means 48 or 45 people are not, like, enjoying your live content as it's intended to be enjoyed. Obviously, that ratio kind of scales up whenever somebody does get larger. Like, if somebody has 60,000 viewers, not like 60,000 people are not chatting, they'll probably have a few thousand. Let's make ourselves faster. I've never thought of it like that. Yeah. Because if you're gonna watch a stream, and if you're gonna choose to watch it live, I. I understand lurkers. We love lurkers. I lurk a lot when I watch stream content. But like, if I'm sitting on my computer, I want to enjoy it. I want to like type little pictures or make little jokes. Because that's- Because if you have a stream that doesn't have any element of chat engagement to it, then you're just recording a YouTube video, but live. But you're not engaging with your audience. Which I have been like, uh, pivoting my stream content to like, obviously become YouTube edits at some point, but I'm not streaming for YouTube. I'm still streaming for a live audience. It's just the live audience can enjoy it alongside with like offline viewers too. I would say that you're the only stream I consistently chat in. Is it cause like you're a tier two and you feel obligated? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, okay, I need to lock in. Die. W. You breathe in and out. 300 XP received. It's because you're actually funny. You know, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't commit. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, you know, everybody says I'm funny. Nobody says I'm cute, but like, I don't want to be cute. Because I've, I don't remember where I saw this, but this is like a common sentiment. Like, an unattractive woman has to be funny to overcompensate. It was something along those lines. I know it's very sexist to, like, feel and think that way, but it's just the reality. Like, 
I was thinking about it because I saw like a few people talking about like making yourself for like the male eye or male gaze and like I don't do that shit I don't look cute for other people I like how I look I don't like try to doll up or anything props to you if you have like the the money and energy to like doll up every day but I don't give a shit I don't know I don't know why I went on that tangent I was talking to my sister about it last night because she and I are very similar sentiment wise on that because like we both have like sensory issues like makeup it would no no fucking way I would be touching myself all day on my face Yeah, I need to drink my water. <laughs> I didn't say it on purpose! I didn't... <laughs> oh my god. Did I walk? I need to clean my glasses. They're blurry because, like, I'm laughing so much my eyes are watering. <laughs> Holy shit. Twitch stuff. I'm dying. Me too. Anyway, what was I saying? So, oh, so anyway, so like an unattractive girl has to be funny for men to like her. Which... Awkward. But... I don't know, I'd rather be funny than cute. The only person who can call me cute is my sugar mama. And my sugar daddy. I have both. I'm two-timing. No, but like... The dream is to have like a sugar mama that doesn't want to like smash. Like, I just want to go on dates, and they buy me shit. And by shit, I just mean art supplies. <laughs> I don't- I don't need no Gucci bag. I just want, like, paints and shit. Paint is expensive. Okay, I clean my glasses. I can see clearly now. The fog is gone. Let's play the game. <laughs> you are so real. Yeah, so real and true. Okay. We're gonna pretend that we just walked in here. Oh my god, the door's unlocked. Another friend? Someone frozen in time. Oh, this is... Is it the headmaster? I don't know. <gasps> I've seen them around sometimes. I think they're someone's partner. Someone's bonded partner, even. Look at their earrings. Aren't they bonding earrings? You look at them. The left ear has a beautiful dark dangling earring. And the right ear a simple transparent one. Oh my god, they have like matching earrings. That's so cute. I want a soulmate. Are those bonding earrings? You're not familiar with what that is. The earrings have different but complementary designs. How romantic. I wonder which half is theirs. I feel like the clear one represents them better. So maybe that's the one their partner made. Do you think we'll see their partner somewhere in the house? Yes. They might have been looking for each other when the king attacked. If we managed to beat the king, they'd get back to normal and look for their partner. They'd start running, trying to find him. Flower petals in their wake. And then they'd see each other from across the hallway, eyes locking. They'd take one step forward, hesitantly wondering if this is real. And then... And then they trip on a beak and break their nose. <laughs> and their partner, seeing the blood, would faint in horror. And then they'd feel so bad they'd make their partner faint, they would exile themselves in shame. Ah, yes. How romantic. It's not! Stop crushing our dreams! Such buzzkills. Let me watch my rom-coms in peace. What's a bonding earring? You suppose it's not very important, but... Wait, I'm a pro dodger. I'm goaded. The bookcase is filled with theater scripts. You gently touch the back of a Guardian comedy you remember liking. Ah, uh, don't worry, Sif. You'll be able to get some plays soon. So, there's... There's something I've always wondered. What is it, Bonnie? Well, um... You know that stage play Friend brought us to? 
before we got the last orb to open the house. In it, the main characters... The two men kissed on the mouth, right? Ah. Oh, gems. Shush, I want to hear this. Oh my god, he's gay. <laughs> and and so, um, when people kiss on the mouth in plays, they don't really kiss, right? They have some transparent paper in between so their lips don't touch, right? Yeah, it's just like pushing daisies. Don't worry. We got Saram Rap. What? What? Uh-huh, what? <laughs> yeah, Bonnie. They definitely have paper in between. Huh. Yeah, I knew it. No one would ever kiss someone on the mouth in a play. Not in front of everyone. <laughs> Not in front of everyone, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's really good. Boniface, this is why you're my favorite. Woohoo! Classic Bonnie. The bookcase is filled with various novels. How to make a fool of yourself. A journey. Tick. Soul Emperor the Fourth. The Soul Purring and the Cursing of Chateau Castle. Issues 40 to 48. A list of books that has been checked out of the library. Odell is looking intently at the list. Hmm. Something there. Apollo books that have been checked out of the library. Odile is looking intently at the list. Is Odile an op? A book that seems a little too heavy for the table it's on. This book is massive. It's called The Complete History of Fishing. Huh. Odile takes the book with two hands and hits the table with it. Do that again. Please. Crab, yeah. <laughs> Indeed. I'll take this one. Odell got the heavy book. She puts it in her pocket to equip later. A fishing book. Oh, wait. We'll be able to fish at the very beginning. <laughs> fishing all... It's called... Itchith all... Wait, what? Itchith... All it it no it should itch theology the the uh, itch theology okay itch theology it's called itch theology and I'm not studying it boo some vials let's see you got two sweet tonics you give them to Bonnie for safekeeping the statue of the change god it's been destroyed. This wall feels different somehow, but you don't see any switches or anything, so you leave it alone. Okay, I pressed it again. Nothing new happened. Surely there won't be a boulder. Someone frozen in time. That's the librarian! Were they a good one, Mira? Oh, yes! They always had good recommendations if you're looking for something. And they had a sixth sense for knowing exactly what kind of book you'd like to read at any given time. They're the one who recommended the cursing of Chateau Castle to me. And, well, to everyone else in the house. <laughs> oh, that book series you're a fan of. Yes! I'm incredibly thankful for them to for that. Uh-huh. It's a good series, Madame Odile. Uh-huh. I'll make you read it one day, Madame Odile. Uh-huh. Try to convince the others instead. Is it It has romance, right? Yes. Sold. I love Bo. <laughs> the bookcase is filled with notebooks of all shapes and sizes. They look kind of out of place here. You point at them and look at Mirabelle. Oh, they're diaries, Sifrin. Diaries and a library. Oh yeah, you guys do that in Dormont too. It's popular in Javante as well. So, you know, our belief encourages change, right? Sometimes, when people change, they might not feel any attachment to the people they were before. Or they might want to- Or they might want any trace of who they were just to disappear from their sight. 
And so, some houses let it widely known that you give away items that remind you too much of who you were. Like diaries. But those items, aren't they given away to be disposed of? Most items are, but diaries in particular are usually kept by houses. It it's common knowledge, though. I personally find it weird. Even if I changed that much, I wouldn't want people to read my thoughts. It's more of a gesture, right? Letting go of your past self. Names and any obvious significance are... Signifiers. Significanters. It's more of a gesture, right? Letting go of your past self. Names and any obvious signifiers are erased by the house anyway. But mostly, it's about history. Isn't it fun to be able to pick up a diary written by someone a very long time ago? See big historical events from their perspective. More than giving away a part of who you were. I think a lot of people actually give their diaries away, so it's like... Look, Mom. Okay, guys, I gotta take a call. I'll be right back. My sister wants me to grab something for her. Look, Mom, I read a book that's in a library. Huh. I can understand that, then. Huh. The idea of anyone reading your deepest thoughts, even years in the future, completely removed from you. Gross. Again, Vagard is weird. But also, you love drama. So you happily pick this gaudiest, sparkliest diary you see. Oh, this one looks fairly recent. We could read a little bit. Like, a tiny bit. We do not have time. Is what I would usually say, but I'd also love to think about boring, mundane, everyday problems for a bit. Dear diary, save us from thinking about our problems. Belle, pick a page. One page and then we're going. I... I'm reading again? Okay. Hmm. Everyone huddles around her. Mirabel takes a deep breath and opens it... Mirabel takes a deep breath and opens it straight in the middle. Okay. Diary. Mom told me to clean my room today. I hate cleaning my room. My room isn't even dirty. Why doesn't she understand? Ugh. 
Also, Dad noticed no one can say the name of the island north of here anymore. I tried to say it yesterday, and I got like the weirdest headache for hours. Might trick my friends into saying it tomorrow. The rest is just doodles of a little girl laughing uproariously. Ah, the island north of Vagard. I remember when it happened. Well, remember isn't the right word, is it? We all just know something happened. An entire stretch of land disappearing from people's minds doesn't happen often, does it? I think- I think my village was really close to it! My sister and I said it was all everybody could talk about for weeks! That's so frightening. I'm glad that whatever happened, she didn't get caught up in it. Oh. Yeah. Awkward. Still, that country's name... What was its name again? Oh, I think it was something like... Don't! Say it. Crab. <laughs> huh. What an interesting diary entry. There's a crumpled poem on the ground. You pick it up. You got the crumpled poem. You put the poem in your pocket along with your souvenirs. The bookcase is full of books about the House of Change. So... The House of Change is the name of the belief, but the house is the name of the place. And there's more than one house in Vagard. And a house is where people live. Such a confusing language. No, it's not so bad. It makes sense. Huh. If you'd like to know more about the House of Change... Yes, recommend me a book. But let's be quick about it. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. I think you should try this one. The life-changing magic of changing yourself. This one is a little abstract, but it is all about our beliefs and the change god. Living while striving for change within ourselves while keeping our ever-changing god in our thoughts. This book explains pretty well the belief that a lot of the people of Vagarda live by. Huh. Interesting that you'd only have one deity. Easy to keep track of, I suppose. Oh yeah. What do you have in Kabu, then? We have... Gods. Spirits. Expressions. The nuance get a little lost in Vagardian. Expressions for everything. So, how many expressions do you have, then? A dozen? A few thousand. Huh. What? So many! Do you have to give track of all of them? Uh, of course not. You only have to pray to the ones that you need. So for me... The expression of search, the expression of writing, the expression of creator craft, and lately, the expressions of battle and victory, I suppose. Cool! That's pretty neat. I hope the expressions and the change God bless us in our journey. Getting close. The bookcase is filled with random books, from novels to picture books to massive research essays. You see the side of the bookcase shine slightly. There must be a key somewhere. Maybe inside one of the books. Which book should you examine? Steppy, steppy cooking. Effort the key to meaningful change or running from your problems. Uh, let's do them in order. Steppy, steppy cooking. You open the book. No key. The book falls open on a res. The book falls open on a recipe for some kind of kabu and dumplings. Dumplings. Ah, those are called gyozas. Boniface. Gyozas. How do you make them? Please stop screaming. Sorry. Sorry. How do you make them? Bonnie looks intently at the recipe. Huh. Oh, okay. Oh, that's crab and easy. Our tiny little adorable chef's at it again. What? Uh oh, sorry. We can go. I, I can look at it later. No, it's fine. We might as well look at it now. Okay. My sister, she... Uh... Well, what about your sister, Bonnie? It, it... It doesn't matter. Can we go now? You all look sadly at Bonnie and try to keep moving. I'll try running from your problems. You open the book. No key. This book seems to be about how to get a better running posture and better endurance. Madame Odal could use this book, huh? What does that mean? Just that you're not very fast is all. And you get tired easily too. 
Maybe if the kids could stop running everywhere you go. Huh, Sifrin? You quickly look aware. You quickly look away from her glare. Okay, actually, I've been walking this whole time. It's okay, Dial. I can teach you how to run good. Yes, madame. Take lessons from the kid who puts their arms straight behind them while running. I want to see you do it. It is a very interesting way to run, Bonnie. But why? Another kid in Bombosh said running like that is air-no-no-mic. air no no -mic? I don't know that Megarian word. Me neither. What's it mean? Um... It means... It means the wind doesn't matter and I can go fast. It's air no no mic. Ah, do you mean ergonomic? Do I? I hope not. That's not how you use that word. It's not? Nope. But running like that makes me faster. Does it? It does. Okay. So Dow should run like this too. I'd rather not. Aww. <laughs> I'm glad I picked the wrong book. I like exhausting dialogue. Effort, the key to meaningful change. You open the book. Yep. Inside the book titled Effort, the key to meaningful change, there's a key. Pretty on the nose. You found the paper key. The keychain dangling from it is shaped like a hand in the paper position. You put the key in your pocket. You now know where the paper key is located. Okay, now I just can't die. Whew. You know, this turmoil never ends. Also, just like today's stream, it's a subathon, everybody. Oh, R.A.P. Sifrin. Yezer, you breathe in and out. 300 XP received. Now we just gotta go down the left corridor. I didn't want to risk touching the teardrop. Oh, I didn't mean to give my turn away, but that's fine. I was gonna increase our speed. Breathe in and out. 300 XP received. Yeah, there was tonics here. You got two super sour and one sweet tonic. Good thing I checked. Hmm. 
That was different dialogue. I didn't read it, but that was different. It said we couldn't fit. But that time it said nobody wants to touch me. Weird. Shoot. <laughs> oh, not this guy again. I'll increase my speed. I kind of want to take this guy out before it explodes. No, I don't think we're strong enough yet. Increase our defense? By the way, I think Odal will die. Heal old Dow that way they don't heal over. Either way, on the third cycle, it explodes, so there's nothing I can do. Unless Odal crits? Nah. I got close though, you have to get four hits in. You breathe in and out. 700 XP received. Okay, I gotta heal, and then we'll go to the right path. That was a close one though. Dang, we're almost nine hours in. Holy. So that means we're about halfway through. One super sweet tonic. Dang it. long stream today it is a long stream today i did tell you guys i was gonna stream longer because i did a short one yesterday but thank you Vic, for another 100 bits that's 500 for the day that can buy 
Oh, Kloppy. Thank you, Vic. Can we get some wood cantons? Thank you, hon. I'm gonna be able to get so much art supplies next month. Much excite. Breathe in and out. 300 XP received. Oh, this is not good. Turn to mirror first, that way we can get another paper attack in. And our turn to Odile again. Oh, I can guard. Okay, guarding protected a little bit of damage. You breathe in and out. 700 XP received. Isabel is now level 48. We'll wait till the next battle to heal. Not the mini boss. A sadness. Another weird one. Tartar sauce. I'm locking in. I'm not gonna waste a turn, I'm just gonna attack. Or make us faster. Two HP, I know, I'll be fine. Watch this. Watch me. Ooh! Raise our defense. And slow the enemy down. I'm doing full status attacks. Attack up. Lower stair defense. So it is a scissor type. That means we need rocks. Yup.
might take it out. One more hit. Yeah, the Zipper is so quick. I'm gonna do the one that lowers their attack in case they live. And he still lived. But watch this. Easy! You breathe in and out. 1100 XP received. Old Dial is now level 48. You got a star crest. Put the star crest in your pocket. Yay, another crest! We should be careful about where we use this one. Okay, boss. And I'm back. I'm Marceline. Okay, I don't remember what was past this part. I think it was just a locked door. Yeah, it's a locked door. Sifrin, if there's a fight, we'll just heal off the jump. It's okay. Sifrin lived. Key time. You insert the key into the keyhole and open the door. We're in. Okay, almost ran into the goop. No! I hate choices like this. I don't want to rewind. Two rows of tears, but only one crest! So we have to decide which way to go, huh? Why don't we... I vote this way. Why this way? Manly man's intuition. Huh. That's stupid. You're stupid. I vote this way. Why this way? Smart kid's intuition. And also, it's the ways that I didn't choose, so... I'm with the kid. It's been a while since we teamed up, hasn't it? Yeah! We're the, um... Opposite sides of the age specter allies! It was opposite sides of the age spectrum allegiance, but I understand those big words in there. Opposite sides of the age spectrum alliance! Aww. Um... Mira? Uh, Mirabelle, my friend, my sister from another mother. Please! No, Bell's with us. Um, I, I'm with Isabel. <laughs> yes, Bell and Bo, Beauty Alliance. Beauty Alliance. <laughs> what kind of name is that? Do you even got? Yeah, <laughs> what kind of name is that? Do you guys spend the day looking pretty? How dare you? Also, yes. Just look at us. Isabel strikes a pose, and Mirabel follows suit a beat later. They both look striking. Ew. We have all chosen a side. So that only leaves... Oh no. Sifrin. You're the tiebreaker. But you hate being the tiebreaker. Can't we just get along? No. They insulted the Beauty Alliance. All that's left is war. Whoa. Unless you bring peace to the alliances by choosing a side. You're the only one that can bring peace to this land. Wait, I have to choose now? I wonder... It's... One is probably bad and one is good. I'm not sure if it's random. You know, Bonnie... And Odile are like the underdogs, and we're obviously like story wise pinning for Mirabelle and Bo. So, you know what? I'll go with the Age Alliance, siding with the underdogs. Then, uh, the Age Alliance. Crab, yeah! Sif, no. How could you? I thought we were friends, Sifrin. Betrayer? Traitor! Let them eat a thousand needles. They look so happy when they're like saying these vile things to me. Okay, we have to stop. Sifrin looks very distraught. <laughs> You're so cute, Sifrin. Oh my god. We didn't mean it. Promise. You hide your face under the brim of your hat. Huh. Let's use this crest then, shall we? 
Now let's go. Okay, it's still blocked off. I wanted to see like if there was a glitch or something, but no. The door is locked tight. It's locked by one of those weird word locks. Say change. You say the word change aloud. Nothing happens. Worth a try. Oh yeah. Okay, I'll write it down. We have to talk to one of the shopkeeps. Oh, but shit. If we have to talk to a shopkeep, that means I have to do level one again. Oof. Oh no. Is that a dog? A little dog. It's frozen in time. The king freezing humans in time for all eternity wasn't great, but him freezing a dog really is the last straw for me. Yeah, how could he do such a terrible thing? I can't believe this. Why would he attack a little dog? I'll never forgive him. And such a cute dog, too. Ah, the king is the worst. I can't wait to see him and punch him in the face. What, isn't that what we're supposed to do? Like, you've killed every other enemy in here. Oldo reaches out and roughly ruffles Bonnie's hair. Huh? You don't feel like there's a key there, but you could be wrong. You're not. You picked the wrong way, Stardust. Ah. Man. I don't want to do it all again. A stool. Some vials. Let's see. You got one super sweet tonic. You gave it to Bonnie for safekeeping. Some medical books. A volume of the Cursing of the Chateau Castle, issue number 10. A closet. There's a porcelain doll in it. It's cracked, with half of its face missing. Someone probably threw it away. Scary. Looks kinda sad, doesn't it? You think it's cute. You got the broken doll. You put the doll in your pocket along with your souvenirs. A statue of the Change God. It's been destroyed. Frozen flowers. A little note is attached to them. Give all soon so we can go party. With a lot of hearts. A bed. Doesn't seem very comfy. It looks like there's crumbs on the bed too. There's a bunch of things on the bed, like... Oh. Earrings! No. Pretty! Just one, though. And it's broken, too! I'll take it! You got the drop earring. You give the drop earring to Isabeau to equip later. Rectangular earrings. Earrings that fortify the wearer's body and soul. If you touch one, it goes ding ding. Drop earring. Boost. Attack special damage? A single earring looks cooler than wearing two. Oh, attack speed. Increases my attack speed but lowers my defense. Yeah, I kind of want to go faster. There's a poster on the wall. It says, in big bold letters, Wash your crabbing hands. A drawer with nothing in it. You look inside the drawer. <gasps> it's a tiny bottle with the label saying, Grape juice for adults. <laughs> oh no! Oh wow, what a criminal! They probably snuck it in. Can... Can you not drink grape juice in an infirmary? No, Boniface. It's against the law. Wait, really? You can't have alcohol at the hospital? I, I guess it makes sense. You probably don't want to mix it with, like, medications. Wait, never mind. That makes sense. Oh, no! Uh, have you drank grape juice in an infirmary before, Bonnie? You know you can get severely punished for that, right? 
Oh no! We won't tell anyone that you broke the law. What? You promise? We promise. Yes, we promise. We super duper promise. Isabel pats Bonnie's head. Ah, uh -uh. thank you. I'm sorry I'm a criminal. Aren't we all? Someone is laying on the bed, frozen in time. They look like they're sleeping. That's... Um... I don't actually know who that is. They look Poterian, don't they? Look at those clothes. And they're covered in bandages. A traveler, perhaps. Trying to escape from something. Maybe. They left their home and then went right back to Vagard, right to the king. And got frozen. Talk about bad luck. Dang. Okay, so the little X is at the top right, so that means I have to reset. <laughs> well, I guess I, I think it's good that I went to the wrong path, because now I know to not go back to it. I should save and then come back here. And of course it's the Baba. I've lowered the enemy attack twice. It still did a significant amount. You breathe in, and out. 700 XP received. Sifrin is now level 50. Man. Is this gonna be another speedrun game that takes 110 hours? No, it's not. It will not. Shit, fuck! No, I mean, this game is like 20 to 25 hours, so it'll probably take me like 20 to 30. Okay, I think this guy is unavoidable. Most people said it took 80 hours. <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> well, that's just awkward. Oh, Sifrin has magic. Max HP. You know, maybe they were going for like 100%. Oh, when I look up games, I just Google game name and game length, and then I look at the top results. So maybe it's my fault.
Well, if this game will take me 80 hours, how many streams is that? Because for this game, I want to try and do like six hour streams minimum. Wait, that means 10 streams. No way, no way it'll take me 80 hours. No way. Surely, I don't want another piece <laughs> You breathe in and out. 300 XP received. Dodge like a pro? Wait, I just remembered I'm gonna have to loop. I'm gonna have to loop and go to the bottom section. But I'm gonna loop immediately to floor one. The tear floats gently. Touch it. Everybody. Oh seven. A tear froze you in time. Start again. I got 96 memory points, okay. Loop back to floor two? Yes, sir. You wake up. You don't exactly dream when you're frozen in time, but it's similar. Or more like it's a slice of a dream. Stretched into minutes, hours, days. A single thought, concept, forever rolling out like taffy. You dreamt about bananas. Hmm, should I choose bananas this time? But you know what I sometimes don't want to choose to do is run an ad. Because, guys, we are five hours in. It's 3 p.m. So it's time for me to run some ads. So you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $5.99, just $6. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and subscribe for free. Ain't no way. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. I think I will stream until I beat floor two. I'm, I assume I'm getting close. I'm getting tired. And I'm hungry. I need to take my union break. Oh wait, I didn't choose my snack. Sad. Oh well. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so I need to go get the key parts and then work my way back to the right and then I have to go on the downward path. dialogue here too. While passing through you stumble and accidentally bump into Odile. You jump and yell. Whoa. Oh, sorry, Sifrin. Oh, I, I I just wasn't Huh. Don't worry, you're good. We're used to your weird aversion to touch. Your what? Uh oh. I know what that means. You're getting used to this. Something was here before. Oh yeah, it was the gardening shields. Is this world rewriting itself when you look again? There's some gardening books about rare and powerful plants. None of them catch your eye.
you pick up the key. Nothing in that closet. You kind of have to remember where items are kept. Damn it. Giving the turn away for an enemy like this really matters. I only want to give the turn away if it's to heal. It's probably better to do like the status increase moves. Because when you give the turn away and whoever receives it, it fills their attack gauge to full and then it goes back to zero. So it's just like you're having them skip the line and skip the order, which isn't as good. It'd only really be good to give the turn to another player if you want to, like, the greater chance of getting a crit. But it'd be more advantageous to do in like a like the normal mini or major boss fights. <laughs> you breathe in and out. 300 XP received. Easy. Oh well. I want Bonnie to heal herself, or not Bonnie, Mira to heal herself this turn. That way I don't have to heal with the next fight. Good one. You breathe in and out. 300 XP received. You picked up the crumbled poem. Oh, pass. You leave the books alone. Oh, okay, I have to look at the book. <laughs> the game is making me read. You found the paper key. Two 
Two sweet tonics? There we go! You breathe in and out. 300 XP received. I should stop trying to avoid the enemies. I'm just wasting my time. They're gonna hit me anyway. Okay, devil's a paper type. Paper type. Best to give a turn away. That way we can get Odal back, because Odal has the type advantage. I'm gonna guard here. Good thing I guarded.
the devil's now vulnerable. And it's a paper type. Easy. You breathe in and out. 500 XP received. Dude, that was a random encounter? Bro. Okay, I have to heal. I gotta. Make sure you do a kissy face when you drink it. Yo! I kind of want to try and get the paper combo. Okay, they resisted against paper, so that means they are scissor type. The devil. And my one rock eye is dead. Okay, I gotta lose my paper combo. Devil's now vulnerable. Damn, we're really struggling.
You breathe in and out. Found Bridget XP received. I just gotta get to the save point. Really bad RNG. No. I don't want to use the items. Oh, they're both coming! Oh my god. Oh, dude, I thought I had him. No! If it's the bomb one, I'm dead. Okay, this guy's manageable. Oh, but they are faster. Uh-oh. As long as I have three people alive, it's okay. They really know how to push my buttons, don't they? Attack with paper. So, okay, I would have two scissor types, I'm good. doing some work. The devil's now vulnerable. Okay, so just scissor, scissor attacks. Die. That one was close. Too close. You breathe in and out. 500 XP received. Now time- oh wait, wrong- wrong room. Now time for the far right.
dodged. turn too early. Damn, still did 200 damage. You breathe in and out. 300 XP received. Odile is now level 49 and learned the craft skill Paper Avi. Odile just learned a new skill. Huh. I finally figured it out. You got the memory of Paper Avi. You'll always remember this. When equipped, your researcher will be able to use Paper AV as a skill, even if she isn't at level 49. Paper AV is a skill that deals big paper damage to one enemy. Finally. So. Something good. You breathe in, and out. 300 XP received. Oh yeah, the, the boss is here.
Technology curls into a ball and regain 250 health. That's okay. You breathe in, and out. 1,100 XP received. Mirabelle is now level 48. Isabeau is now level 49, and learn the craft skill Break Break. Isabeau just learned a new skill. <laughs> I've gotten stronger. You got the memory of Break Break. You'll always remember this. Oh, I forgot to swap on memories. When equipped, your fighter will be able to use Break Break as a skill, even if he isn't at level 49. Break Break is a skill that lowers one enemy's defense. You got a Star Crest. You put the Star Crest in your pocket. Yay, another crest! We should be careful about where we use this one. You tell me now, huh? Oh, but they keep this skill forever. Okay, it's fine. Memory of Tonics. Health items used by Odal during battle restore more HP. I don't like using items anyway. I can always change that, so that's fine. Not this again. Banana peel sound. <laughs> okay, you know which way to go now. Since going with the Age Alliance didn't give you a key, hopefully the other side should have one. So... The Beauty Alliance. Wait, what if I go up again? <laughs> I'm not. Yes! We will not forget such a terrible slight, Sifrin. We will not forget! We will not forgive! May you only eat potatoes for the rest of your life! May your house fall down on your horrified face. Yeah! What she said! We're kidding, Sifrin. Don't look so distraught. I'm not kidding. I'll put potatoes in friends' pockets. Shh. Don't tell them. I'll help you later. You assume a guarding stance. Bonnie immediately assumes an attacking stance. Alright, kiddos. Or kids. <laughs> All right, kids, let's use this crest then, shall we? Let's go. And we're in. Boulders. You know what else can make a big impact? Following the channel. Because guys, we are another 30 minutes into stream, so if you never click follow, you get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty sick? So guys, follow right now and I'll say thank you. Ain't no way. A change ornament. Some notes on safety. Beware of not. Simple to the point. A chair. But there's only one, so it'd be rude to sit down. Some carving wood. Looks like someone used to carve during the break. You wonder where your own carving tools went. Okay, so a little bit of lore. We were a woodsmith? Or carpenter woodsmith! <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day. Some very big rocks. Two of them seem to be missing. Could there be various traps in the house? Ain't no way there's another boulder cutscene. It's a barrel. It's full of nothing. 
A book about traps and how they work. Some of the pages are bookmarked. Does it say anything about the traps you've seen so far? Traps, traps... Ah, one of the bookmarks is labeled Death Corridor. This is where you first died, but you're still not sure where the trap activated when it did. You read the page. The type of trap in the Death Corridor is apparently called... If you feel safe, it activates O-Trap. <gasps> Whoa, Sif, that's one hell of a disgusted face you're pulling. Hmm, so I should never feel safe. This game's a lot. I mean, we're kind of in, like, the lull section. But I cannot wait for the climax. Just like every movie. It's like the slow burn. You you grind, you wait, and then the final, like, sequences are worth it. <laughs> I mean, like, my attention span? Wait, that's so real. That's so real. <laughs> no, but, like, if I played this game off stream, I would, like, just bang it out real quick. I like games like this. Because if, if something is too high intense, then I get tired. Like Mario Kart, I can only play for like max two hours now. But you know, slow burns are fun. For me at least. Someone frozen in time. Oh. Him. Oh? Oh. Please tell us more. Uh, no, no, that's, um, sorry. I mean, this man is another house maiden. He's a scholar. He's working really hard on a project. It... Boring. Why don't you like him? Was he mean to you? Should we... Do something to him? Yo! Please don't! He is, um... He is... A human man. That exists. A human? Okay. Uh, listen. I think he stole one of my priceless issues of the Cursing of Chateau Castle. <gasps> Jackass. Oh no. A thief? N no. Forgot. Forget I said that. I have no concrete proof, but... But my issue disappeared shortly after he came to my dorm room to ask me something, that's all. A thief? Huh. He looked through his pockets. There's a book inside. <gasps> The title reads, The Cursing of Chateau Castle, issue number three. You wave it around. Well, what do we have here? So I was right. This, this horrible thief. Mirabel got back to her priceless, got back to. Mirabel got back her priceless copy of The Cursing of the Chateau Castle. She angrily stuffs it in her pocket. <laughs> Victory. It's back. It is. Sorry for bad-mouthing him while he's frozen in time. He's a very talented scholar, also. Uh, this was fun, Mirabelle. You should show your ruthless side more often. But no! Please be the key, please be the key. There's something on the counter. You found the scissor key. The keychain dangling from it is shaped like a hand in the scissor position. You put the key in your pocket. You now know where the scissors key is located. So... Uh, rock, paper, scissors? Ah, uh, just good old basic rock, paper, scissors. Makes sense. You all nod. It makes sense. Aw. But now, we can head towards... The third floor. After this fight, of course. No, not this! So annoying. Now I have paper of V. Big paper damage. 
Dang, 700 damage? Holy. Still not enough, though. Turn it up? Right now, turn it up. Gojo might take this guy out. No. You would have to crit. Let's do paper three. Oh, it did more damage than regular paper attack. I'm gonna heal Saffron. Dang, I was close that time. Shoot. You breathe in and out. 700 XP received. If I would have gotten one more paper. Oh yeah, it's another locked room. Since everybody's low, I'm gonna heal. Because I assume there will be a fight in this room. The door is locked tight. It's locked by one of those weird word locks. You look at it. Isabel sees you look. Have you never seen a lock like this before, Sif? It's a special kind of a guardian lock. Instead of a key, it needs specific words to open. Words. Yes, you just need to say the words aloud. I think they call it a... an open phrase? An open phrase? Fascinating. So what is the phrase for this lock? I... do not know. Ah. Uh, so it's locked. Yes. Yahoo. I forgot. Okay, so I'll make my way back to the floor three entrance and then we'll pause for it today. I just have to not die. Gonna have to battle them both. Um, sad. Easy. You breathe in and out. 300 XP received. You breathe in and out. The rented XP received.
easy. I welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Hi, TK. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me, but welcome in. You breathe in and out. 300 XP received. Oh my god. Lucky. Okay, I'm gonna save here and then we'll head towards the number floor three entrance. I'm saving because there's probably going to be a boss fight. Dang, 10 hours. But I think we'll pause here for today. We'll pick this up tomorrow. But do not worry, stream is not over yet. I kind of want to do one game of sap. Because I'm feeling it. Okay, so that was another day of In Stars and Time. About 10 hours total. Very grindy for Arc 2. But still really enjoyable. Okay, I'm going to get sap pulled up. So I have to turn my fan on full speed. There you go. My fans are so loud. Okay. And just to remind you guys that I'm a pro sap player now. I did get my first ever hard mode win yesterday. Or this, it was this morning. Look at this. Insane. I'm cracked. If any SAP fans come in, we'll just flash this on screen. Okay. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Where's SAP? I'm addicted to SAP still. It's kind of a problem. Mod change of the title. I got my first ever, ever hard mode arena win. Arena win. Congratulate me. I spelled congratulate totally wrong. <laughs> congratulate. Man, I really want to play Super Rocket Simulator on stream, but it, it tanks my computer anytime I play it. Okay, while well, I'm getting SAP set up. Where's my... While well, I'm getting SAP set up. Just a reminder, guys, today's stream is presented to you by PeaceAndArtOfMyShopify.com. Oh my god, what is this? New lineup prints available. If you're a current Twitch subscriber, you do get a discount. And if you're a non-sub, use code TWITCH10 for $10 off your purchase. Ain't no way. Okay. I want to do one game of SAP. I did say I want to start doing a daily game, because, you know, I gotta get my hours up. So we'll do one, one, just one little game of SAP. If I win, I win. If not, I'll be very upset. I'm gonna cry. So, let's do a prediction win this game parentheses 10 trophies now i have got I'm, i want to do one i'm not doing hard mode because that breaks my brain okay i'll let you guys gamble for five minutes put your gambles in chat do you think i will win okay, also i'm putting my hair up it's bothering me Cause like, I have like these little wispies, like right where my glasses sit, and they stick out and they bug me. Cause I can feel it like rub against my earlobe. Okay, it looks fine. You can't see it anyway, it's off camera. <laughs> I love having big hair. Okay, 
Also, guys, I did get my first ever hard mode arena win. Can you guys, like, thank me? Okay, I'm locked in. Play. Arena mode? I'm not doing hard. I don't want to break my arena. We'll do normal because normal is totally winnable. Also, guys, put your predictions. Do you think I will win? Okay, so I found the best strat if you want to, like, succeed early on is to choose the pets that have ample hearts. So the max amount of hearts you can get is three. And you're going to want to put your summon pets in the bag. Uh, mosquito is good to have. Freeze the apple and turn. I am speed running, by the way. Put a live split on screen, please. Lazy pianist. Wait, pianist sounds like a different word. <laughs> See, look. And I won because I had a cricket. I will only do the cricket in the beginning because it's advantageous to have a single summon when your overall pet's health are low. I'm going to do both mosquitoes because mosquitoes do one additional damage. Reroll. Um, I don't like any of these. But I'll buy the cricket to give it one additional health. I'll keep the apple for next round and turn. Getting a win early on with the cricket build is good. I should have put the cricket in the backpack. Shit. It's fine, though. This is gonna be easy dub. Easy! Getting two trophies? I used to say it does not matter. It does matter. Getting two trophies in the first two turns? Huge. Mm. I'm gonna keep the swan for a while, so we're gonna give the swan the apple so I have an extra item space when I re-roll. Re-roll! Peacock, meat bone. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna sell the fish. Cricket in the back. Buy the peacock in the front. Freeze the meat for next turn. Reroll. I left for ten minutes and we're playing a different game. Yeah, we're doing a long stream. I did say I want to try and do like a daily game every day, and it's either gonna be chess or sap, and I'm still addicted to sap. This team isn't the best right now because since I swapped out a lot of my pets, they're all low health, but it's okay. I'd rather take the L now to get the pets that I want, truly. And another strat that I noticed is people will have, like... Because right now we're on turn 4, so people can get level 2 pets. But I'll sometimes see level 3, and I'm like, what? How does that happen? It's because when you level up a pet like this, a pet from the next above tier spawns. So since we're on level 2, a tier 3 will spawn. And then if you're on level 3, a tier 4 will spawn if you level up a pet. So that's why you'll see people get multiples of every pet. That way when they combine them to level up, they can get higher pet tiers early. Should I write this down? I'm going to freeze the cricket, that way it levels up, so that way I can get higher tier pets for free next turn. Man, I want the camel! What in tarnation? W. No! W. I'm locked in. Reach turn 5, tier 3 are available. Let's level up the cricket, see what we get. <gasps> Parrot this early on is huge! Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. I need to think. Uh... Um, I'll sell both my mosquitoes. Peacock, carrot. Hmm. No, I want the flamingo. Ooh, rabbit too. Oh my god. This is a good lineup for next turn. Okay, putting the parrot behind the flamingo I think is better because the parrot will copy the plus one plus one perk versus the increasing attack perk. I need to make sure I have ample health as I go through the first beginning rounds.
You can maybe clutch? Man, I'm so good at sap. Because when we did the longer stream, I kept throwing for like the first few turns, but now I got it on lock. Okay, we're going to swap out the cricket for the rabbit. We are for sure going to keep the parrot long term. Reroll. Worm, I don't want right now. It's better to have the swan versus the worm, because the swan gives you money, and sometimes you need the money to buy more pets versus the apples. Okay, nothing really good. So I'm going to do the salad. That way two pets get hearts, and then the rabble will give them an additional plus one. and turn. Should we do another stream ends when I beat Sap? Type one. Huge. Oh, easy dub. Am I gonna win on my first game? No, I, I, no. No. I can't be that crap. Apple, or no, pear to the parrot. Parrot gets a pair of hands because he's going to go fight. I'm locked in. So good. Apple. That we have two slots here. Reroll, nothing good. Ooh. Okay. Bind the peacock now so we get a level up. <gasps> the rhino was really good. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna give her the flamingo because they're fine. The rhino is crazy. Rhino's my new favorite. Whenever the rhino gets a knockout, deal four rock damage to the first enemy. Double against tier one pets. That perk doesn't really matter for that second part. But whenever you get a knockout, that it acts similar to the blowfish. And since the parent will copy it and the parent has ample health, this is a good team. And camel! Ooh. Okay, we'll save that for next turn. Unfreezing the flamingo. Ooh, rabbit will level up. I'm gonna also freeze the garlic. Because I found that giving your pets garlic perks is for the better because they take two less damage for every attack they receive. Rhino's gonna die here. Oh no, he lived. Oh my god, so bad. It's okay, I still have three hearts left. Turn nine, another camel? Okay. Let's see. I think I'm gonna get rid of the swan. We've gotten a lot of money from her. We can't keep milking. For sure, buying the camel. And buying the rabbit so I can level up. Ooh, the mammoth is good. I kind of want to freeze that for later. I might swap out to it. Because right now we got, we're at six trophies, three hearts. It could be advantageous to get it for late game. When it's a bit harder to get health items. Because there's just more... Like, random health items for it to roll. Let's see. <laughs> Peacock in the back. Parrot copies the camel. That way, every time the parrot gets hurt, it gives the rhino more health. Yep, that's it. Ooh, so good. We'll give the chocolate to the camel next turn and level it up. Man, I feel good. The 
The Rhino's gonna knock the Kangaroo out, plus additional damage. Oh, easy dub. Easy. Seven trophies, three hearts left. Oh my god. Should I speedrun this game? <laughs> okay, like I said, chocolate to the camel. Level it up. The bear is good. I do like the bear. Oh no, it's a Wolverine. What? Like from Deadpool? Okay, four coins left. Let's re-roll. A chili perk. That is really good. The chili perk is good to give to the rhino because the rhino can get two knockouts in one hit then. In turn. See, look, the rhino got two knockouts there and it did two rock damage. Oh my god, it's insane! Eight trophies? Oh my god, I feel so good. You know, I've never been drugs. I've never been high, but oh my god. Rhino, let's level her up. I don't like any of these. Melon perk is good, but... Hmm. I'd rather do garlic perk to the camel. Reroll. Ooh, pizza. We'll also freeze the meat bone, just in case. No, I don't want... No, I don't want... Fuck. And turn. That was huge. The camel was able to tank three hits with that single garlic. <laughs> oh, the turkey is scary to see. Dude, three rocks! Oh my god. The rhino's insane. You know what else is insane? Uh, ads. <laughs> but we're six hours in the stream, so I gotta run some ads. You can avoid the ad by subscribing for five ninety nine, just six dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad previewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime Twitch and subscribe for free. If you don't want to miss me absolutely crush my first and only SAP game of today, subscribe so you don't miss it. Learn all the strats. Get boomed, dude. I am so good at this game now. Holy shit. You know I've avoided games like this for a long ass time. I was like, you know, I'm not gonna gamble. This isn't gambling. I'm not gonna play a card game. I'm not doing it. But holy. It is fun. Another camel. Let's see. We're on 9 out of 10 trophies. 3 hearts left. So I'm still gonna freeze items in case I lose somehow. We'll freeze the apple and give the camel an additional plus 3. Temporary. Now my camel is 23 health. Holy. No, not the peanut. No. That has so much health. No. Damn it. I got gunked. Look, because usually for this build, I get a fucking scorpion. So I'll swap out the rabbit for the scorpion and put it in the front. Shit. That was fine. I still got two hearts left. I sh surely. Surely. I'll, I'll live, right? Last three roll. Ooh. I'll buy the melon perk. Because nothing else I really want to buy right now. We'll give it to the rabbit. That way, if somebody hits me with the, um... The dolphin. Because the dolphin does 18 damage to the lowest health. And then the crocodile does damage to the backmost enemy. It should be able to tank that hit. And turn. Guys, dub incoming. Unless it's another scorpion. Now we good. Oh, it's a 23-26. Oof. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no! 
Okay, this is... Potentially the last turn. Nine trophies, one heart left. Dude, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay, I need to think. So, if I lose this, it's over. So it's in my best interest to get rid of the rabbit and swap it in for the mammoth, because the mammoth will give plus two, plus two when it dies. And it will counteract the scorpion if there is a scorpion that spawns. So, in order to get the mammoth to a level 2, I buy a single mammoth, buy the second one, and then the chocolate. So that in itself costs 9 coins. Yeah, I I have to sell the rabbit first. And now I have 12. It's sold for 2. Oh wait, do higher level pets sell for more? I just learned that. Okay, buy the mammoth. Buy another one. Chocolate. Nothing good here. Let's see. Apple gives plus one. These give plus one when you stack. Let's give this to the rhino so it lives longer. And turn. Okay, this is totally doable. Oh no. We have a 50 rhino. Game over, turn 14. Man, it was looking so good. I, I think the problem was I was giving too much health to the camel. I should have given more health to the peacock and the rhino. That was my fault. Shit, did I win? No. Dang it, I was doing so good! Man. Shit, okay, I did say I would play one game. That's one game. Fuck this game. Fuck this game. It was legitimately looking perfect. I'll get some music on. Fuck. That upsets me so much. You come so far just to lose it all. Okay, anyway, guys. I so thought you were gonna win. Me too! Dude! You know, I haven't... Usually, if I lose a round, it's, like, fairly quickly. Like, at, like, turn 4 or 6. I got to turn 14. Fuck. It's okay. We'll get him next time. I'm totally down to do a sap game every day. Because it takes like 10 minutes, so. Because what I do like a lot about like Ludwig streams is that he'll do the, the main meat and potatoes. And then he'll do like wind down stuff. Kind of like how we do calligraphy every day. And I was like, shoot, why not do like a little daily game? Because like I, I do need to get used to streaming longer. So and today's already been six hours, so. Doing my overtime. Okay, you guys. Stream is wrapping up, but do not worry. We did get bits today. We got 500 bits from Vacantant. So we get to do calligraphy. So use your channel points or subscribe and I'll write your name. Yeah, I need to turn my fans down. 10 hour W stream. Guys, it's a Shabbaton. <laughs> no, I think the, the longest like stream that I did that wasn't like a gimmick was I think like nine hours. And I think it was when I was play I played like coffee talk in one sitting, which I am not gonna do again because it was all dialogue. So my voice was dead the next day. But um because normally I'll stream for like four or five hours, but I kinda wanna just get through this game. Cause I do understand that like because there's other streams I want to do. And honestly, I need more streams for YouTube. <laughs> So, uh, you know, the YouTube editor, which is me, has been working like crazy. Okay. Oh, um, Marceline, I'm sorry, but oh, this is awkward. the The reason why there's only one Rainbow Redemption is because it takes longer. So, you can't, like, hack the system and say rainbow. But, 
But since it's your first time and since you didn't know, I'll write it in rainbow for you. But only this time. Okay, you can't like do it again and cry that I didn't do it again. Okay, deal? Pizza to shake. Peace and being nice. Shut up. Better clip it. Shut up. You know, I'm the nicest streamer ever. Oh, I didn't turn the camera on. <clears throat> do, do, do. Also, guys, just a reminder. Today's stream is presented to you by... Peace and out to my shop .com. Oh my god, click the link. Go bookmark my website. New Lionel prints are available. Right here, look at that. Cute. And if you order a painting, I'll paint it live on stream just for you. There is a $17 discount for any current Twitch subscribers. So if you want the discount, just tell me and I'll give you the secret code. Okay, where's my overlay? Go to give it down. I forgot I kicked my camera earlier. No free feet, Sage. Anyway, I'm hoping to beat the In Stars in Time by Friday. And I should be able to stream this weekend. Don't do it, just do it in a red. No, I said I'll do it for you this one time. I would never lie. Besides the times that I do. <laughs> I sometimes do have to lie. But otherwise, I never lie. I'm serious, make no exception. Okay, I'll respect that. It appears we're both stubborn. Yeah, the reason why I had to change that redemption to not allow multiple colors is because there used to be days where like 10 people would redeem and every name takes about, like, 30 seconds to a minute. And sometimes, I just want to, like, end stream. So, like, I don't, I don't necessarily mind if calligraphy takes 20 minutes, but it's not the ideal, you know? Also, hi, Kim. Can we get some yo's? Are you in New York, baby? Live from New York is Saturday Night Live. Just finished up work. Oh, you're flying at night? Be safe, smile. Hope you guys have a good time. Once again, thank you to Vicantant, or Vicantant, for the 500 bit cheer. Thank you! Thank you for choosing to give me some of your paycheck. Did you just say my name wrong? I said it on purpose to see if you would say something, and you know what? You did. My flight keeps getting delayed. Did you fly Delta? I was going to say, I usually fly blank airline, but I don't want to leak because then you guys are going to buy all the tickets. 
Oh no, I'm playing Delta? No, it's just like Delta is usually known for like more delays compared to like other uh, airlines. But it's just how it is. You know, whenever any work industry is understaffed, whenever there's lack of labor rights and unions, it's bound to crumble. And I think it's really fucking stupid when people are like upset about it because it's like yeah this is a result of the system like you wanted this to happen like what do you think was gonna happen who has the money to buy a ton of tickets no nah. have you ever really listened to like some like anecdotal stories you've heard you can hear from like larger creators there's some uh mentally unwell people who will do very crazy things to like try to find you so I will shut up. Shut up. I know you're joking, but don't plant seeds in my head. <laughs> don't plant seeds in my head. Okay, now time for the brokies. You know, I have to be very careful about like what I talk about on stream. Because I've said this many times before, but, like, I'm the type of person to where I have stalker brain. So, like, if I was, like, mentally ill severely, like, I would, <laughs> I would, no, I shouldn't say. Like, I, I have stalker brain, so, like, all I can think about is what a potential, like, grocery stalker would think to look for and look for me to say. I got no PTO to do grocery stocking. Well, some people got a lot of free time. I only have half an hour left. <laughs> Sad. I mean, you've been taking a lot of time off this year, yeah? My sister's lucky. She gets... She gets two weeks, and then every single year she's with the company, she gets an extra day or something. This is my second full week off? Oh. I swear you took like another vacation. I don't know. I don't keep up with you like that. You know, I'm not a grocery stalker. But, okay. You know how I know that I have like stalker brain? I remember a lot about what you guys say in the chat. I remember a lot. I've been stocking produce all day. It's it's slow. Oh my god, I forgot you're a grocery store worker. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I will say Sorry, I've started saying like grocery stalker instead of like stalker. Cause like I just think it's funny. <laughs> My vacation time is the only reason why I don't quit every day. But don't you get paid well, too? I usually work in daily. Oh, yeah, you said that before. Oh, you know what sounds so good? Safeway fried chicken. Oh, my God. I almost got some the other night. Because, like, Safeway is open late. Like, I think the... A few near me, like, stay open until, like, 1. So, like, I dropped my sister off from work the other day. And I walked past a Safeway. I was like, shit. Should I get some chicken? I was like, no. I must stay strong. <laughs> oh, wait. Vicatent. Or Vicantent. You're in chat. You said you studied business, right? Like, what, what is included in a business degree? Because, like, I feel like there's so many different parts of, like, any type of business. Like, what did you study per in particular? I'm just, like, genuinely curious. I'm 
I'm grossed out by my work's chicken. Oh, I bet, like, what? I think, like, anytime you see food being, being made in, like, mass production, it's always fucking gross. Like, when I worked at Subway, I think the gnarliest thing I had to make, and a lot of things at Subway are, like, pre-packaged and pre-sliced. The gnarliest thing was the tuna. And whenever you opened, like, the package of Black Forest ham, it stank. I studied business management. I want to be the highest manager I can be with my company. I'm about to become an executive manager? And the next position is store director. Yo. That's like real girl boss shit. I wish you luck with that, man. I think you could do it. I believe in you, man. Yeah, so Vic, would you work like... Now, this is not a job offer. <laughs> no, okay. But like, would you ever work for like a smaller company, like an independent business? Or are you, or do you only want to work in like established like corporate franchises? I spelled that right, W. Okay, final name, any other redeemers in chat? Anybody else? For Kim, I will do, I will do teal because Kim is green and Mac is blue, so teal is in between. I'm trying to retire at 50, so I don't care where I work, but if I make a lot of money now, I couldn't see myself being paid as well with a small plum company. That is a huge point. I agree. Like, might as well get a bag, you know? I wouldn't mind working for a small business at all. Okay, I was just curious. Because when I think of, like, executive business work, I think of, like, office, big company... Because I assume, like, most small businesses are just, like, skeleton, bare-bones crew. You know, it's the mom, her husband, and the kid working the counter. Yeah, okay. Keep at it, kiddo. Guys, I'm done. It's been a long day. We're at six and a half hours of time. Is anybody live? No, nobody's live. I don't got many streamer friends anyway, so makes sense. My main job right now is establishing relationships with vendors and outside companies that could benefit us. Wait, you want to put me in? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and put me in, coach. Now, right now, I'm trying to see if I can get some of my art in, like, some local shops. In, like, some, like, neighboring towns and such. Um, Because I think what would be really cool is if I have, like... Like, baseline prints and, like, artwork available at most any store. But then sell, like, store-exclusive prints. Like, there's one shop a few towns away that has, like, more gothic, kind of more edgy art. And then another one has, like, cutesy animal and flowers. And then another place has, like, gnomes. And, like, you know, like, boomer aesthetic. So I was thinking, like, I could pitch, like, a baseline of like cards or greeting cards or prints and then make like store exclusive illustrations that are only available in those stores i like that idea yeah i was kind of cooking but the the problem is because like i've talked to a few of those stores that sell like like galleries that sell artwork and the 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 percentage fee they take is like substantial it's like not really worth it i might as well keep trying to sell online until like i can afford to lose that money but, yeah. A limited PTO is a scam. Never agree to it. Because they're just going to guilt you to not take it. Don't take it. Get guaranteed PTO. 
and then having your contract that you earn more PTO with seniority or experience. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think that's all. My goal for the end of August is to have more artwork out. Good idea. Thank you. I don't want to read it because that's too much to read and I'm tired. <laughs> Yeah, because, you know, I've I've almost risen my way into getting, like, GFX jobs, but more often than not, they, like, they already have somebody, and that's fine. But, I don't know. I think at this point, like, in terms of long term, you know, you can call me Delulu, but I think it's important because a lot of small streamers, like, they quit, they, you know, obviously they gotta get a real job. But for me, give me two more years, maximum. Because at two more years, I'll be streaming for five years. And if I don't fucking succeed after five years, um, it's Jover. I'm sorry. I'm not cute enough. It's Jover. But long-term goals. What I want. I want to have, like, a small team. I would love to have two or three editors, social media manager. Because ultimately what I want is click go live. Click end stream and have other people do post production. Because I've been editing my own YouTube videos for like almost a year now every week. And then clips as well. Daily clips for almost two years. No, it's been over two years. Yeah, I've been doing daily clips and YouTube shorts for over two years now. And then. Because, like, if I can focus more time into actual stream and pre production and have other people focus on post production. Then we can have some, like, really banger content. Because, like, I have a list of ideas, like, on my phone, of things that I can do now, like, by myself. And then I have a list of other ideas that I would need a small team for. So, the long-term goal is up until I'm, like, 30. Like, 30. I want to keep streaming, keep making YouTube videos, keep editing. I don't network, so that's kind of, like, my biggest L. But... Whatever, I don't... You can't trust many people in the industry, let's say. Especially a lot of smaller creators. Like, there's a lot of... People who do sus things in discords. That's why I don't have a discord. But I want to be able to keep making videos. I want to be able to bring people on for post-production. Not necessarily, like, for on-camera work. Like, I still like the idea of it just being me. Because I, I don't do good with, like, riffing. And, like, uh, going back and forth with people, I've noticed. It's because, like, I'm not a camera hog. It's just, like, I, I'm too focused on myself, I guess. I interrupt a lot. Also, I'm not good at reading the vibe. But I would love to stream and do YouTube until I'm, like, 30. And I'm 25. You guys got me for five more years. Um, and then... If it's successful or not, it would dictate if I did continue. But ultimately, my my like life goal is I want to own a gallery. I think that'd be so fun. Like being able to have a space in which other creatives can like have their artwork for sale. And then also like maybe make a non-profit to help fund more creative endeavors and careers or degrees or programs or internships. I think that'd be cool. Like that's like by I'm 50. I want to do that. So, that's why I think, like, me doing, like, all the pre- and post-production for stream is, like, helping me learn a lot in terms of, like, the creative process, like, keeping things streamlined. Like, literally, if you guys saw my editing documents, it's, like, so aggro. <laughs> um, galleries are awesome. I worked in one but, and had fun. I want to do... I want to do a gallery... That has, like, a little cafe in it, too. I think that'd be cute. Because not many people want to go to a gallery. Not many people will walk into a gallery for funsies. But if you have, like, a little cafe in the front, you probably have regulars who get, like, coffees or drinks. And then also a banger idea I have for a gallery is you obviously have rotating inventory, so rotating featured artists. And then... I would have- Oh no, I broke my pen! I'll fix it later. 
Um, and then I would have Wait, I'm fixing my pen. And then I would have um I'll fix it later. I need to stop fiddling. And then I would have like limited edition artwork that is only available for a calendar month at a time. That way, because like my sister went to Japan. I want to go to Japan again either next year or the following year. There are so many like different collectible things that like random attractions will have. Like the Disney's will have like limited edition merchandise and little trinkets. A lot of like touristy places will have stamps that you can get that are like limited time images. Like I have so many ideas for like what I could do for like an actual building, but that's not like that that have to wait till like I have like money money. Like that ain't happening. Um but yeah. That's my long term goals. TLDR, I'll stream unless I get cancelled. <laughs> Which I haven't done anything bad besides maybe lie about my sugar mama. Being real, of course, she's not real. But you guys got me for a while. As long as you guys enjoy what I do, I'll keep doing it. The day that I have nobody watching would probably be the day to call it quits. But, you know, as long as one person enjoys what I do, I'll be happy. Don't say L to that. You're a tier 2 sub. That doesn't mean you can be mean. And Vic, you said you might become a tier 3. <laughs> Which would be crazy. I clicked the wrong emote. You're lying. You are lying right now. See, look, Marceline gets it. Peace I do love. <laughs> oh, wait, Marceline. Not to call you out directly. What's your favorite emote of mine? I'm doing some market research. Oh my god, I just got a text from my sugar mama. Holy shit. They said they're gonna buy me a Gucci bag. Okay, I think I'm done. I'm done yapping. I, I, I hate this when I go full come at the end because I just keep talking. Anyway, guys, we're gonna wrap it up for today. Thank you for watching any Chatter Circus. I hope you had fun today. We did, begrudgingly, all of Floor 2 in, in Stars and Time. I forgot the name of the game. So we'll continue it tomorrow. 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 I love you. Tomorrow. You're only a day away. Uh, I don't know what time. Probably same time as today. Like maybe 9 to 10-ish. I like streaming earlier. You know, I end earlier. And it's chill. So if you guys enjoy, make sure you are following and subscribe. That way you don't get ads. And you get emotes. Ain't no way. If you want something to watch, new YouTube video right now. It's an edit of the Super Auto Pet stream. And let me just say, great video. <laughs> great video. <laughs> and follow my offline social media. I usually post on my Twitter right before I go live. That way you can hang out and chat if you want and like say hi and shit. Um, also, TikTok, daily clips. I don't post on IG. I don't. Wait, another thing I wanted to say. If I ever become, like, rich rich, I want to have, like, a photographer. And then we can do, like, monthly photo shoots. That way we can have, like, banger pics on IG. That's the goal. I want to have editors. I want to have a photographer. I want to have a social media manager and a... And a girlfriend. Anyway, bye. <laughs> Once again, thank you guys for watching. We had Squidlets for the follow and Vicantant for the 500 bits. Thank you for your support. Hi, Kim. I'm ending stream. What do you want? <laughs> Kim, you're late. No, I think Kim was my first chatter today. She came in like literally like 10 seconds after I started. I've been here. Yeah. You know, Kim can only chat if she brings her headphones and she forgets her headphones like every other day, which I don't understand. How can you forget your earphones? Wait, you know what? I think it's because like I take the bus. So like I cannot go on the bus if i don't have headphones but like if you're in your car you get the radio i can never go anywhere with the headphones sam i need to get new ones my arm busted as shit the faux leather is falling off okay sometimes i have meetings every day that sounds like hell
We're all going to be deaf when we're old. I try to keep my headphones on very soft. Very soft. Sorry, that sounds like a Trump quote. Anyway, last minute. Any guy, any last words, <laughs> guys? Any final words? <laughs> I'm so tired. Bye, Kim. Have fun with Mac. Smile. Or rather, or rather... Good luck with your GF, yeah. I'm telling Mac what? Telling Mac what? Peace to all. Aw. Peace out. That's actually why I'm called peace in. Like out is the opposite of in. Peace in, peace out. But bye, Marceline. I hope you had fun today. <laughs> mm. okay i'll see you guys tomorrow enjoy the rest of your day